What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shy, Shy vs. Jay Bike Podcast, episode 33, man. Got the Ooh, homie, man. Got, got a part two, man. Hell got yeah. Got the homie buddy in the building, man. What's good? Shit, I can't call it, man. Hell yeah, man. Had to get you back on. Got the new project. Yes, sir. It's on the flow. For sure. Before we talk about that, man, we got to go back to the salute me while I'm here. I know I normally say you ain't supposed to do people close like your wives, your dad, mom, sister, brother, but... I guess I gotta do it, man. I gotta do my uh, my fiance and shit, dog. Since we about this to, good. you know, what I'm saying, do that grown man marriage type shit mm-hmm. next Friday, man. This be a last show. I won't have nothing on my finger and shit, dog. So it's a little scary, dog. But I'm a salute to her because shit, she real person and shit, dog. You know, what I'm saying we got another another little one on the way. Oh, congrats, so my we God. find out the sex of the baby uh that day. I got my EP dropping that same day. Ooh, so got, nigga, shit, got, got some shit. shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, salute to her. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, marriage can be scary, but shit, I feel like, shit, I go through that scary moment with her and shit. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because she, she a real person. You know, it, it's not often you find somebody, you be like, fuck it, I spend the rest of my life with your ass and right. shit. Oh, we gonna give it a try, nigga. We gonna fight that bitch out, nigga. We might have to shack and Kobe that bitch a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> when some chips would be mad and shit, but hey, that's how that's it is. That's part of it. Hell yeah, shit. Who you, who you got, man? Uh, I'm glad you said that. We gonna, uh, I'm gonna go with my pops. All since right. we're doing people that's close. Yeah. And the reason I say my pops, because like a lot of shit that I learned. Even this music shit. My pop, my pops used to rap back in the day. For sure. And like he put me up on, you know, just yeah. regular man shit, nigga. How to bob your head to music? Hell nigga. yeah, like, hell you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even how a man's supposed to wave. A lot of niggas don't be teaching their sons that Damn, type of shit. Damn, that shit funny. Like, you imagine nigga waving like, this? like come on, bro. <laughs> Nigga, my pops put me on game. Nigga, give a nigga the dog, fist yeah, and just throw your hand two, up. You feel me? Dog, you nigga like this nigga like, It look weird. You feel me? So I got to salute my pops. And I done, I done been through a whole lot of real shit in the past couple of years with me being up here. Yeah. And whether my dad stayed in town or he didn't, he was the only person I can call and, you yeah. know what I'm saying, depend on to be right there. So dog, salute my pops. That shit funny. I'm going to have to like include that on some shit I ask niggas. Like, dog, when you first learned how to wave. A nigga how, act, no, fuck that. Ask a nigga how he wave. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask him now. Look, like, why thinking, you grown, bro? How you wave at another man, bro? Dog, Let me hear this niggas shit. always throw a little... What up, though? All right, nigga. All right, man. I'll give a little nah, nigga. Like you said, nigga, the old... The old man, man shit. Nigga. shit nigga, <laughs> like, yeah. That's that granddad hot, nigga. What yeah. up, cuz? Or, right. you know, you just throw your hand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. But it can't be no movement in the hand, Not in the nigga. movement. You that look like you doing this shit. Yeah, bro. that hand can't be flimsy, nigga. Like... Damn, I'm sweating already, nigga. I told you, nigga. <laughs> hey, it's effing, motherfucker. It's effing. It's a little, it's a little harsh, nigga. Like a little bite to it. Fifty, y'all need to take some of this shit out of here, boy. Like I said, I had to get a nigga a shot, man. We had Diddy on this bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we had to go ahead and get effing. Hopefully, like I said, did, Fifty but... ain't never led us wrong. The whole point is to get fucked up, and that's what it tastes like. It's gonna do. Mm-hmm. But this bitch is kind of like curve. Like, <laughs> that nigga said like. that bitch like curve. I remember, nigga, I gave my mom some curve perfume thing. I'm rich and shit. When I was like, <laughs> nigga, fifteen. That bitch like. Give her a whole little set, nigga, for like ten dollars, nigga. That bitch, nigga. <laughs> the curb perfume got the little motherfucking what's the shit? The little spongy sheet, you like wash your ass with. Oh, the, like the body wash. Yeah, we <laughs> had the whole curve set, nigga. Like for real, for real. But shit, man, you 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 mentioned your dad being um an influence in rapping first. I mentioned my fiance and shit like that, dog. You got any words of encouragement or some shit, some advice as far as like getting married and shit? All right, so yeah. I ain't gonna lie, this shit ain't work out for me like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, like I told you off air, I still believe in the sacredness of being married. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So like, all I can say is, make sure you like really be working on yourself. Yeah, for and, sure. And try to try your hardest not to put your responsibility of happiness on another person. Yeah. And when I say that, like people be thinking just because we married, mm-hmm. like I gotta make you happy. Like yeah. no, when it comes sure. down to it, like we gotta make ourselves happy. And then we come together to make one each, you know what I'm saying, one another nigga, happy. I seen some shit like that. I forgot who said that shit though. But yeah, 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 yeah. You got because you can't. Yeah, you are you right. You can't expect somebody else to make you happy and shit, yeah. dog. Like you gotta be able to make yourself happy. I'm mean, a bit sweating like my ass off already, nigga. Like <laughs> nigga, hot, nigga. But yeah, dog. Yeah, but yeah, that's some shit. All right, you say you went through, you going through a divorce now. Like, would you, would you get married again? Yeah, and okay. most likely I'm gonna get married again because I'm, I'm one of them people like. I don't just be out here with everybody, you feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, yeah. So if I, if I show off somebody or I'm with, I said this shit on the tape, on, in the intro. Yeah. If you see me with her, I already got my beak wet. Yeah. I mean, shit, if you see me with a chick, <laughs> most likely that's me. You yeah, get what I'm for saying? Sure, for sure. So yeah, I don't really yeah. just be out here fucking around. So when I fuck with somebody, I fuck with them heavy. Hell yeah, because a lot of niggas be like, nigga, one time I'm done. I mean, that's right. I'm about to be 28 next month, yeah. bro. Like, that ain't super old, but I done had my fun. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And hell at yeah. this, and this Point in this point in life, bro, it's hard to find some real motherfuckers, like you said. Nigga, it's hard as fuck, bro. Like, I've been through this shit. Like, I've been with my oldest son, mom. I have a relationship in between. Like, it's hard to find that motherfucker who fits you. Yeah. You feel me? The motherfucking drawings always loose. 
a bitch too small, <laughs> nigga. Like your shoe don't fit. Hell yeah, you put your shit like damn. You got a motherfucker take the sole out. You got like you yeah. said, you got to change motherfuckers and shit. Like yeah, and at this age, bro, you this like I said, you trying. To, I'm trying to make me happy at this age. Yeah. So instead of like one nights only and all that other shit, like nah, bro. It'd be cool, but then like that shit at the end of the day, it'd be weak. A little like what I said, once you get a certain age, you like dog, I'm done with that shit. Like, that shit corny after a certain hell yeah, age, nigga, bro. Because then you, you had, feel like you tricking. You had thirty year old nigga. I got all the hoes. Like yeah. I, 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 I told y'all that last time, bro. <laughs> I hate I hate that talk with older niggas like where the hoes at like yeah. nigga I yeah. don't I don't know bro I don't know yeah. where your hoes at like mm-hmm. nigga figure it out like What's let's up? talk about some real shit though show me where the rental properties at nigga yeah, yeah, show me how at? to start how a business yeah how can I yeah. advance my my kids or how can I advance myself or something like that yeah hell yeah For man sure. well shit man last time you was on here the motherfucking Corona was just starting to hit and shit like mm-hmm. it was getting a little serious and shit you know what I'm saying I think you was like my the interview before last before we shut this bitch down I was doing it all over the phone. Right. Like nigga, when that shit hit, like, do you take it serious at first? Would you like it's some bullshit? Like I mean was it a moment to make you realize like damn this shit for real for real? At first, I was taking it like this shit gonna be like the swine flu. It's yeah. gonna be here for a minute, shit gonna be gone. Yeah. Then I mean, as time went on and more and more time, niggas couldn't really move around how they wanted to move around. Yeah, hell shit yeah. started getting serious. Man. And then right before they opened this bitch back up, I actually lost one of my aunties. Oh, damn. Rest in um, peace. Yeah, rest in peace, undead. Yeah. Um, to the corona. Yeah. And so, like, right then, yeah, everything got serious. Was she like, was she older? No, she wasn't that old, but, you know, the, she yeah, already she had could. complications. Yeah, that's what things. it is. Like, they say, like, and that's another thing why it attacked the black people so hard, because we already kind of fucked up towards, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got, we got fucked up. Uh, most of us like don't have no assurance. And all that yeah, shit. we ain't got no assurance. We ain't got the right shit to be able to cover ourselves and, and know what's going on or to be able to cover ourselves. So once this shit hit, it's like nigga, it start fucking us up for real. Like you yeah. said, high blood pressure. Yeah. You got niggas diabetes. diabetes. Yeah, yeah nigga, like so you gotta be careful, dog. Yeah, but yeah, that, yeah that, I ain't lose nobody like that I knew personally. I knew people that I knew, yeah. but nobody like in my inner circle, like my family or somebody close to me, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah, but it, like I ain't believe that shit. Like I said on the other shows, like until the NBA canceled, nigga. Yeah, anytime the NBA canceled, yeah. and school been out for two goddamn long. Oh, you know, shit nigga, serious. They always want the, kids in school. My son been at the crib chilling his ass off, bro. And like, then you know it's bad when they start letting niggas out of jail. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that was another thing that woke a nigga up because like anytime somebody could break crime, go to jail and be like niggas getting sick in here. Y'all niggas gotta go home. This Man. ain't this ain't no school. You feel hell me? No, like, nigga. Like you go to jail regardless of your like, situation. Nigga, you got three you years can, left, nigga. Go ahead, get the fuck out. Here. You can have one leg. They gonna still lock your ass hell up. Hell yeah, so, nigga. When they start letting niggas out of jail, it's like. Oh, yeah, this shit super serious. Yeah, shit, like, when you was at the crib, like, nigga, that's a real question. Like, nigga, were you going through, like, some depression times? Like, nigga could be depressed, like, when you ain't got no family maybe around. You ain't got this, though. You missing this, like. Luckily, before before all this happened, like, I was telling y'all last time, I had just got into an accident. So, a lot of shit has slowed down for me. Yeah. As far as just moving around and all this other shit. Mm-hmm. So, really, nah, I, I haven't been in no depression time. Luckily, yeah. thank God. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I really just been trying to, how, how, what I'm going to do when this shit open back up. Yeah. Plot and plan for real. That's all I'm about to say. You, what, what was some shit you were scheming up on? Or you was, I can't you were tell you about? all that. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, no, no. The tape. I mean, the tape was some shit I was Did working on the whole time. Remember, I told yeah. you I had just started recording at home. Yeah. So I had started doing a whole lot of rough draft shit at the crib. Okay. Um. And pretty much, man, I, I ain't gonna lie. And see, a lot of niggas gonna lie. Like they were just quarantining by themselves. Yeah. No, I was doing the Detroit quarantine. Yeah. And what I mean by that, Detroit people quarantine with the same people you was hanging out with Hell yeah. before That's quarantine started. So like Fuck the same yeah. people I was seeing. Pulling up at their house, I was still pulling up during the quarantine. Hell yeah, like, hell yeah. That's what we was doing. Niggas still kicking it, still drinking, but just knowing, like, all right, I can fuck with this nigga because this nigga ain't all. Yeah, you, you know definitely got to get sprayed down for you coming yeah, to crib. But nigga. shit, that's what we, that's what I've been doing. Hand sanitizer on deck, nigga. All that. I was just my first time going to the studio was last weekend, dog. Oh, yeah, Cause my man won't let me in that bitch, like at I, all, nigga. I ain't gonna lie during the quarantine. I found somebody. Like, nigga, you working? Yeah, yeah, but you can't bring nobody. I ain't coming with nobody yeah, anyway, nigga. Yeah, just yeah, set the yeah. mic up. Hell yeah, dog. I rap with my mask on if I got to, nigga. Hell just yeah, set that sure. bitch up. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, but yeah, dog. Like, I had to find nigga, go to the studio, dog. Like, finally, nigga. And, cause I had wrote, nigga, shit, two and a half worth of uh, material, dog. EPs, dog. Like, oh, for real? Hell yeah. So, now I'm ready, nigga. I got this shot drop. I'm dropping. Then I got the little motherfucking shit for the ladies. Just talking about some breakup type shit, nigga. Yeah. Get my little Drake bag. <laughs> <laughs> shit like that. Then the last one gonna be like some little nineties shit called Throwback Thursday. Okay. So it's gonna be all old school beats and shit. Hey, just make sure I get in on one of them. Hell yeah, nigga. Right. Shit, we gotta do that shit. Gotta work, nigga. Shit. Yeah, yeah. But shit, nigga, like with that following the motherfucking Corona shit, you had the motherfucking like this whole Black Lives Matter thing again. Yeah. Like somebody dying on camera again. Like nigga, like for real, we see this shit every day. Like, what was your? 
how you feel about that? You got kids, you a young black dude. Like, what's your thought about that shit, dog? Like, with the police and all the, the whole little system and shit and just aiming towards us, seem like. Man, this shit, I hate to say it, but it ain't like shit changed. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's just no. more so that our generation ain't taking that shit. Yeah, So I'm, sure. I'm, proud, I'm proud to be a part of this generation. That's the niggas that's actually out here. Yeah. Going, fuck just rioting, nigga. They beating police to fuck up. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, dog. And yeah. It's, it's some shit that unfortunately needs to happen. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. for some shit to change. Like, especially down the line. Like, I got homeboys sending me clips, videos, like, nigga, we out here. Yeah. And I'm talking they going hard. Hell, yeah. So, that's like, the thing. Like, I was telling um, uh, Q, dog, like, you got to... I just want that shit to be consistent. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want that to happen. Then you be like, all right, let's fight for a, a week. hot week or two. And then that shit die down until somebody else passes. Yeah, away. that's what I'm saying. I'm amazed at how yeah. it really ain't died down. Yeah, yeah, for like sure. Like, yesterday yeah. in Stone Mountain, you seen a group of black people with their automatic weapons and everything just marching through, you know what I'm saying, yeah, people yeah. protesting. But they got their guns, just like you Hell would see yeah. a, a white a group of people doing so. No, and the great thing about it, yeah, when you see motherfucking the cops, though, I'll be wondering, like, why the fuck, like, when they come into your car, they feel threatened, they hurry and put that motherfucking hand on the motherfucking gun ready. I mean, but the truth like, is, at this point, this shit just gonna make it more of a war zone, though. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. Yeah. Just for the simple fact that, like, the way that, that we move, and although they peaceful protest, mm-hmm. the media only put out the, the part where the police running niggas over. Yeah, or yeah. niggas beating up the police or setting the cars on fire. Yeah. So, when another police officer see that, Shit, they scared. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then when you pull up on me and you pulling me over, yeah. and I ain't got no gun on me, but I got my daughter in the car or some shit, you yeah. you still hesitant or you going to have your hand on your gun. You hell get what yeah, I'm saying? Like, hell yeah. But like I said, man, the shit, the shit crazy, man. but of course I'm supporting my people. Now, how old is your, uh, you got, you got two boys and a girl, right? Yeah. How old is your two boys? My oldest son, he's six. Yeah. My youngest son, is three. Yeah. And my daughter, one. At what age, like, like, do you target like let me talk to them about i'm talking to him right now yeah because i i had to ask myself that question like i talked to my son my son 13 mm-hmm. so shit he'd be 14 so i had to talk to him like dog like if me and you ever get pulled by police tell him what to do if you by yourself because he goes to like a basically kind of a mostly all white school and shit and just just know what what racism is because you you know his homeboy white so i'd be like dog if anybody in their household say something crazy let me know what's going on like yeah. You don't keep shit from me. And just keep your antennas up and know what's going on. Yeah. Don't ever let your guard down. Always keep your guard up and be ready for some shit. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And I mean, the way I teach my sons is just ultimate respect. Mm-hmm. Like, I, like I was taught. For sure. Hell you yeah. you get respect, you're going to get it back. Or you yeah. expect to get it back. Expect you know to, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. But, I mean, it's only so much you can tell them at this point because, shit, you put your hands up, you get shot. Yeah, put your hands yeah, in your yeah, pocket, dog. you get shot. Dog. You can be on the ground. Fucking, put your hands behind your back, you get shot. There's always so. an excuse. And then the thing I hate, I hate when the. When the media just paint that motherfucking picture of a nigga being a bad guy. A thug and all this yeah, shit. Yeah, like, you going way back five, six years ago, he did this, he did that. Just because he, nigga, I don't give a fuck if he was a bad guy. That don't mean he had to dodge over some bullshit. Right. Bro. Like, nigga, my man got his, your knee in his neck, nigga. Like, nigga, I actually shared a tear in that shit, watching that shit. Yeah. Because, nigga, he ho- you, ho- you hopeless, nigga. Yeah, and the fact that dog screamed out for his mom and then you come to find out nigga, mom, mom had dead, passed. So you know what's up. Yeah, that, that's... Yeah, nigga, that shit fucked up. up. I'm at work, nigga. I'm like, dog, no, you white motherfuckers better not say shit to me. See, I can't watch. I can't watch it like that at work. Yeah, I'm around all white motherfuckers. Yeah. Like, I'm looking at everybody crazy. That's nigga, when I go right? tell them. I, I gotta go to the crib, bro. Dog, I'm in the bathroom. I had to motherfucker wash my face real quick. Like, damn, cause this is it's fucked up. We see somebody and they can't do shit to defend themselves. Yeah, that gotta be the worst moment ever. Then you gotta think about his daughter, nigga. His daughter gonna be able to Google this shit, nigga, when she get older and see this shit for herself. So that's Excuse fucked up. That's what she just think about. Kids ain't de- desensitized no more. So the truth is, she probably already watched it. Yeah. As sure. young as she is. Mm-hmm. And that's that's fucked up. Then that shit bit me. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. shit bit me, nigga. Like, uh, that shit hit hard. That shit bit me, nigga. F and this shit, dog. All right, nigga. Shit. Uh, we kind of touched on it a little bit, dog. Off off camera, nigga. When you was talking about like dressing and shit, I know you mentioned it in your flow and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fly talking shit, dog. Yeah. Like. But how would you dress in as far as like a high school or middle school nigga like when I was in high school? You know some shit you was wearing that was fly or you might have thought that was fly that was some bullshit. Shit, in middle school, <laughs> everybody was fucked up when you go back and look at them pictures. Duh. I definitely had tall tees. Oh, nigga. I definitely had your bows. I definitely had the long nigga. ass jerseys. And I was extra little. Like, yeah. you got the short niggas and then you got the niggas that, like, damn, that nigga might be a midget. <laughs> that was me. You feel me? So, like, <laughs> nigga, I'm buying size 38. So I don't even wear a 38 now. Yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? I had jerseys to the flow, but covering up my Jordans. Like, nigga. you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga, looking crazy. But by nigga. the time I got to high school, though, uh, Actually, like I told y'all last time, my mom was a pastor. Yeah. So I was raised around a lot of pastors. Okay. And one of the main pastors, his name was Pastor Thomas. Yeah. He was one of my mentors. And yeah. he gave me a book 
which was a GQ magazine. Yeah. And he he cut into me like, look, bro, the shit the shit y'all wearing, some niggas ain't wearing that shit for real. Yeah. Like niggas that successful, this is how they, they they dressing like this, and they telling you why they dressing like this. Sure. Like it broke down the suit, like what type of suit you should get to fit your shoulders. Yeah. The shit taught me a lot. So after that, going into high school, I just did shit that worked for me. That was my first time like digging into fashion, like to like for real, skinny yeah. jeans, skateboard gear, like. Yeah. So like yeah, by, by high school nigga, you couldn't tell me I wasn't fresh. You can go back and look, and nigga be like, that shit wasn't cool. It was cool to me, nigga. What the fuck, nigga. High school, I was man. It took me a while, dog. Like I said, dog. My my uh my step brother, dog. That nigga. I was like, when he, when he rocks some shit, nigga, I, I rock that shit behind him. Because right. my, my mom wasn't by me that shit, you feel me? So, nigga, like the Nauticas, nigga, like the Tommy Hill figures, he found out he was a racist and shit. Yeah. That shit. Uh, I'm still wearing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Jabo, yeah. Nigga, Jabos was like the, that shit, dog. Like, yeah. I used to rock heavy. All them fucking pockets. Yeah, nigga, but them, there was some thick ass, like them jeans, nigga, Deep you would not get pockets. cold, nigga. No, no, you would. <laughs> nigga, ain't no air going through them motherfucking pants, dog. You would. Like those, nigga, like you said, the jerseys, nigga, I had every Michael Vick jersey, every oh, color. Yeah. Nigga, every month I had uh jersey. I didn't even like the nigga. I had Tim Duncan jersey. It's cause yeah, I had, the I had it, bro. But this is what I'm saying. See, I was used to go hunting, so like I ain't like Tim Duncan. But yeah. I found a Tim Duncan USA jersey. Yeah, that Man. bitch was so hard. But nigga, just looking at that shit, like dog, like I looked at one picture, nigga, my uh, for homecoming. I had your bow button up, nigga. It was a two X, mm-hmm. and I'm one forty five. Nigga, wear two S, nigga. Right. I got these pants on, nigga. The belt, you gotta make a motherfucking extra little hole in that yeah. bitch just to keep them bitches on. And then your, your shoes, you can barely see your shoes because the motherfucking the pants are so, way yeah. over them bitches, dog. I'm just looking at how this shit involved, too, with jogging pants, nigga. Jogging pants, dog, used to look like some old man shit, dog. That bitch go, bro, I had stepping them. on your shit. In, in, in high school, that's when I converted. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck what nobody else think. Yeah. These shits make my Jordans look ten times harder. <laughs> I, went, I went thrifting. And yeah. bought all nylon jogging jogging pants, nigga, yeah. with them to school. Niggas was looking at us like it was crazy. Dog, that's the gotta be the best thing they ever invented was joggers, nigga. Yeah, them bitches is um, man. Cause you wear bitches <laughs> with with with, with well, fucking like you said, your shoes, your foot. The old, and plus, the plus the older you get, though, you gotta remember niggas start going away from like what's cool and start going what's comfort. Niggas. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, Hell yeah, cause you gotta be comfortable though. Like I gotta be, bro. I, I might bro. have to chase my daughter through the store. Like <laughs> I might have to get out and whoop a nigga ass. Like you never know. I gotta be comfortable in all all Fuck times. Yeah, dog. I be looking at pictures as nigga laughing, nigga. Like I'm looking like a complete fool, nigga, in this bitch. Like and like you said, I'm wearing two STs right now. I'm wearing a one X, like. And I'm like, damn, how the fuck was I even? What the fuck was I thinking, dog? He was following the niggas on TV, bro. Yeah, and then, like you said, them tall tees, I got into it, but I didn't really. Like, it had to be a certain tall tee, like a slim tall tee. I ain't need no loose bitch, like I got yeah. a blanket on and shit. Like, that's Back shit. in them days, bro, I ain't, you ain't even had no choice. Motherfucking Foot Locker had the two for 20. You grabbing them bitches. <laughs> Hell yeah. Four for 20. You grabbing them bitches. Yeah, all four of them bitches. And nigga, then you white. getting the two for 89 Felas or Reeboks, nigga, and you going to school. Your mama, Hell they got yeah. you together for that first week. Hell yeah. Speaking of 50 with the F and shit, like, the G units, nigga. You had some G units or some S dots. I had both G unit S dots. Yeah. I had the fucking. That's what I'm saying. Like I hope the nigga don't get mad about this effing, but <laughs> like this shit tastes like what I would imagine cologne tastes like. No, like nigga. this shit is a bottle yeah. of curve. No. <laughs> nigga, but got like him. fifty, I, I fuck with the G units. I used to have them bitches. Yeah. The G unit tank tops. My pops bought me every color. Yeah, like all that shit, bro. Yeah, you get, you come out of bitch thinking feeling strong with that bitch. Feeling nigga. good as hell until a nigga start flaming your ass because you ain't built for that bitch. Hell yeah, dog. That nigga, bitch look like a. Nah, Training, you know, bro, this nigga supposed to, you supposed to have some muscles with that bitch. Yeah, that bitch the muscles head. sold separately. You I mean, that, <laughs> I mean, that bitch straight bony with that bitch. That bitch hanging that shit. Collarbone nigga. poking out. That shit, shit looks stupid, nigga. <laughs> dog, 50. Dog, I bought my uh my baby mama some s dots for her birthday. I remember we was young as hell, dog. Yeah. And I bought some s dots. She was happy as fuck. She don't wear bitch like four times. I was mad. Man, I, I ain't gonna lie. Bring them s dots back. I'll put them bitches on right now. Was them bitches black, was comfortable was as black hell. black gray boys, dog, for real. Hey, nigga. Crazy story about genius dog. My cousin used to work for N One. Mm-hmm. He said that before Reebok, nigga Nike. I mean not Nike. N One was trying to give him a. N One turned him down for a deal. Mm-hmm. Like he was talking to people. He was gonna go ahead and sign with N One for his shoe line and everything. Yeah, because people don't know. Before fifty, before before fifty, before like Jay Z and them had them uh, Reebok deals or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Master P had some shoes. Yeah. Them shits was N Ones. Yeah. So like, you got you got to think about it. Uh, look, you can look them bitches up. Yeah. The Percy Miller boys, I had them. Yeah. That's how I had camouflage on the motherfucker. Yeah. Sort of God, I was clean. My pops bought them bitches. Again, shout out to my pops. Yeah. Them bitches was hard. But uh, back then, they didn't think 
rap artists could move sneakers. You get exactly. what I'm saying? Yep, Not knowing, cool. like, nigga, they pre- they push the culture with anything. Yeah. That's why we wore tall tees. That's why when fucking Jay-Z came out with Brush My Shoulders Off, yep. I had the motherfucking long-ass button-up with the cuff links exactly. for no Hell reason. Hell yeah, nigga. Because like, Jay-Z was saying, stop wearing throwbacks. Yeah. And nigga, nigga start wearing throwbacks. Nigga, nigga start wearing a, button ups. Your daddy got damn dress shirt and went to school <laughs> with that bitch on with a New York hat on. I ain't never even been in New York. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. You right though, nigga. Like we nigga. Even and now, this, and now look at it though. Even to this day, niggas is influenced by rap. That's dog. what I'm saying. Look at I, I believe Travis Scott sell more shoes than any fucking uh, basketball player. Right yeah, now. Or other than West other than easy. LeBron James or some shit like that. But. Yeah, like nigga, like you, like anyone fucked up a lot, nigga. Like they could have been big, nigga. Like they could have been the fuck. It was the culture back then. You got to think niggas was trying to do and one moves, going to all the tours. And one, and one was the first big three. Mm-hmm. The only, the only difference is you didn't have and one taking players from the league. Yeah. The league niggas and one was trying to get to the league. Hell yeah. Like, Hell yeah. but you gotta think about it. niggas start getting old. And we was fucking with them niggas because uh, me and little bro dog, like we go to Philly. My uncle, I mean my cousin, work for them niggas, and we'd be at the headquarters. Like nigga, I ain't hoop with uh, hot sauce and fucking. Mm-hmm. Well, professor could really hoop. Them niggas could really. I used to hoop with them niggas at this place called Run and Shoot in the A. Oh yeah, I know about that. Hell yeah, I heard that was a fucking for real spot, nigga. Man, like, them bitches was man. It was courts all over that motherfucker. And everybody in that bitch can hoop. Damn, I forgot about that shit. Yeah, I remember, nigga, I always said if I went to Atlanta, I want to go to that bitch. Yeah, dog. they tore that bitch down, though. Damn, why? I don't know. I guess some niggas ran out of money. I don't, like, I was mad as hell about it. that shit. was part of my childhood. Man, hell yeah. I, I remember that shit when you said shit. Cause I remember watching, like, hot sauce in that bitch on yeah, YouTube going and stupid. shit. Hell yeah, dog. And Brandon Jennings used to be all up through there. Everybody had to come through running shoot. You came oh, yeah, to the I, A, you I, had to come through I think there. we talked about that a little bit in the first interview we had. You was a, you could hoop, right? You was a hooper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was telling this one little nigga on the show and shit, like, he was talking about hooping, but I'm like, because I don't know you go hoop. I'm lining them up like, nigga, you look like, I don't know, nigga, a little soft in the little hey, hoop game. I tell you, shit, I love like, to be underestimated. Hell yeah. That's, that's the, I tell a nigga all day. Usually I don't even talk about hooping. I be like, nah, bro, I mean, we can go hoop. <laughs> yeah. Why we ain't got to talk about it? We can go hoop. Because <laughs> I know you're going to be like, bro, you too short, you're going to do shit. Yeah. Bet, bro, let's go hoop, please. Dog, the worst thing is, though, is when a nigga talks so much shit. And you see him on the court, he can't hoop at all. That shit is hilarious to Shout me. Shout out to my nigga uh, A1L, nigga. <laughs> this nigga said. He calling niggas out. Yeah, I'm calling this nigga out, though. We can go to the court and he can see me, nigga. <laughs> Dog, we was at Crow, nigga, the, one of the best hoop spots on the east side, nigga. Like, we uh-huh. hooping. And we at school, we talking about hooping and shit. Like, he like, yeah, nigga, I'm going to try. I will try for a team. I made that bitch with no problem. This, that, and the third. So we go to the court, nigga. I knew he couldn't hoop, nigga, when his shorts came. When he had his shorts, nigga. His shorts was just like. Before John Stockton Stress was famous, oh, nigga. That bitch was little. Shit. He had the little boys on. So he came in that bitch and, like, it just really changed how I looked at him. Like, <laughs> cause you just tell me you can't hoop, nigga. Don't lie to me, dog. Like, it really you changed. You gonna let me pick you up? Dog, it really changed how I looked at this nigga. Like, you trying to make every excuse for this nigga. Like, I, I swear, for some reason, when niggas say he can hoop, and then they really can't, it just made me look at him different. But I just seen like some I, niggas I, I come expect, out with I don't the, expect you to come out that bitch like LeBron, but I expect you to have a little bit of have something. Have something. Yeah, yeah, bring something to the table, nigga. I get you. Like, if you say good picks, nigga, pick your ass off, nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, if you the nigga to get the rebounds, yeah. grab all them bitches. Because, nigga. nigga, with me, I know, like, when I used to with certain niggas, like, I ain't going to lie, a lot of my niggas play overseas ball. Like, my nigga, uh, my nigga Will play for the Gold Trotters. My nigga, uh, uh, BT, that nigga play over in, um, overseas. Like, mm-hmm. I hoop with some niggas that already hoop. So, sometimes I knew these niggas about to dominate. So, what the fuck else can I do? Nigga, I be in that bitch low as fuck grabbing rebounds, yeah. nigga. And that bitch, nigga, I'm in, I'm outside saying picks. Like, we in the motherfucking, like, like we in the league, gym, nigga. Yeah. Like, I'm in that bitch throwing oops to these niggas. Like, they making me look good. But I, that's like in life, nigga. I tell my kids who I coach, you got to know your fucking role. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You got to know your role, nigga. Don't, over, don't overstep, nigga. I know, nigga, I'm hooping with these two niggas and they both. Nigga, six, 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 seven. All right, but nigga, this, this is an example that I'm going to use. I'm feeding these niggas. You said, you said your man's told you he can hoop. Yeah. You took him out there, he couldn't. Mm-hmm. And so in life, <laughs> was he doing this shit to you in life? What like, up? like he'd be like, I got all the hoes. You go to his house, like, what's the move? He ain't got none. He ain't got no moves no on the No comment, court. dog. Yeah, see what I'm saying? You should have <laughs> knew this before y'all went to the court. <laughs> he told you before he went to the court subliminally, bro. This ain't him. Duh. Or like when a nigga, you think so sweet, dog, but then you be like, dog, this nigga got trash. I got a homeboy like that. This nigga, like, I met him when I moved up here. So, yeah. it's not like we went to school together. Yeah. But I know off Bells, off the way his life is set up. <laughs> when you start talking about sports, bro, you can't play sports. You get what no, I'm saying? Like, no. the nigga be telling me, like, he used to have uh, letters coming from schools and all this shit. Like, I know real, you know what I'm saying? I know, most of my niggas didn't went to college to play football. Yeah. Or they didn't want to play basketball or yeah. something. Yeah. So, I know what it's like when them letters and shit start coming. Niggas don't just throw them bitches away. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas no, got no, them in the
Dog, that shit funny, dog. Cause like, damn, like hooping, like everything tell you something about somebody, nigga. Like, bro, I believe, real. I even believe, like right now we got in the car. I'm like, go ahead, play some music, bro. <laughs> Whatever you play, I won't be able to tell you what type of person you is. And I ain't gonna lie, I use this for girls, yeah. especially. Cause like, we get, if we go to the club. Like, if I date a girl, I gotta take her to the club to yeah. see. This is how you really gonna see what type of girl you got. Yeah. We go to the club and knock if you buck, come on. And she know all the words, nigga. Duh. You got a real one on yeah, your hand. Duh, nigga, silly, and duh. she might swing on you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? If you if you take her to the club and she don't know none of the songs, you might got a wife. You feel me? Because yeah. she don't go out. She that, don't know none of this shit. Nigga. That's some shit. That's some now, if you get in the car and she know every song from niggas from the east side, you got a runner. You feel me? <laughs> Run away, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm, try that out, bro. Make sure y'all comment on Shaw and tell that nigga how it worked for you. That shit funny, dog, because my girl went nah. When she get in the motherfucking car, the only rap music gonna be played is like some J. Cole conscious type shit. She thinking. Yeah. She a thinker. Only my is listening to all that See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Hey, hey, easy, uh, right? What's that, that Sada Baby song that the whole be going crazy about, yeah, dog? The act activated yeah. shit. Yeah. So, yeah, my girl get that bitch. We listen to Mariah Carey. We listen to them up for old Usher, music oh, soul child, but this, Andy Irene. And this is what I'm saying. The more the more you spend time with your girl, that's funny. The more that's music that you hell. listen to, she gonna listen to. So yeah. like when when I first met my girl, we was hanging out. She was just listening to like old shit, like old Nita Baker shit. Like yeah, this. she yeah, like she yeah, hang yeah. out with her shit. mama and them like that's the type of shit they listen yeah. to. Now, nigga, you know what I'm saying? She done been with me. She know all the little baby songs and all that other shit. Like, so you're going to be able to know, this is my girl, because this is yeah. what the fuck I listen to. Hell yeah. So, yeah, like yeah. I said, That's funny, you would know. Dog. So, when your girl come back around you and she know all these <laughs> other nigga songs, duh. ask her where the fuck she get that from, bro. You might have to break up with her. That shit funny. <laughs> you going to have to. That shit funny, because I remember listening to Joe Bunn podcast. They was talking about, like, your girl's playlist and shit like that. Like, shit matter. If your shit didn't, her playlist didn't change up and you ain't had no, no fucking influence on that shit. Like, who the fuck she been fucking with, Who dog? she been talking to? Like, she got motherfucking Chris playlist in that bitch. Like, yep. <laughs> you bumping John shit like a motherfucker. Dog, that shit funny, dog. Damn. I never thought about that shit. There's going to be some niggas mad after this podcast. Hell yeah. Hey, dude. look, that don't mean if y'all see my shit in her pod in her playlist. <laughs> I don't fuck with her, bro. Like, oh, hold on, She cuz. must have listened to this podcast. That's this all. motherfucking buddy, all them motherfucking Keisha up. <laughs> my, uh, my Keisha shit, dog. She putting you on some new music, nigga. Yeah, she like, trying to put you hip, nigga. Damn, that's crazy. Because, like, it be little shit, nigga, like. You can just tell, like you said, nigga. It's pressure when you put when you in somebody else's car and you put. And they you pass that, you the ox, nigga. That's pressure, nigga. Hell yeah, you control the whole nigga, mood. I remember one time, nigga. I put the wrong song on, nigga. I was uh, my brother, my older brother, his boys. These niggas clown me forever, mm -hmm. cause I played like it was like um who was the nigga who's with uh uh Maybach music dog had the Stally. He put the stallion in the group in the in a group <laughs> setting. That's like your yeah, that's no, a, that's a, hold on, nigga. But it was like he had like a, a sample of like some fucking. Um, I know exactly the A ball MJG sample. No, it was a sample for some R and B shit. Oh, yeah, like no, so for he, real or some shit. Yeah, you fucked but, up. And then nigga, they took that bitch right from me, nigga. Like nigga, <laughs> they gave that bitch out my phone, nigga. nigga like, that bitch out your phone. But then I had um I redeemed myself because I'm like, all right, I'm with some old niggas, so I gotta play some old school shit. So I play MC8 straight up menace. And they let me keep that bitch a little longer. Nigga. Cause I start, you you gotta know who in your car. You gotta know your crowd. When you I got think, the ox, you DJ him. No, low key, my 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 my, my nigga, he, that's family. That's my cousin Lance. Put me on some shit, dog. He like, dog. When you got people at your crib or you at a park or something, don't play music you want to play. Play music you think they gonna want to hear. Right. So nigga, one day I put that bitch on title. Nigga, I put on like some nigga old school '80s '70s barbecue music. Nigga, my girl, grandma, that bitch, nigga, jamming, yeah, nigga. Yeah. And they gonna love, <laughs> especially like you around the older crew. And you start playing the older shit, or they gonna love you. I'm telling you, they gonna love yeah. you. I'm talking not even about music. This shit gonna change their life. Nigga, I be having motherfucking my uh my girl cousin over. I'm in that bitch playing Dame Dollar. They wanna listen to the motherfucking hood rat ratchet shit. I'm in that bitch like. Remember what I said? Yeah. Bro. <laughs> and that be dog. That be crazy, cause oh, never mind. But nigga, you be knowing like nigga who the hood rat is now. Like nigga, that's what that I'm saying. The sense. shit come out. That's why I say you gotta take them, even if they trying to hold it in. When you take a person <laughs> to the club, it's no way for them to hold it in. Cause that motherfucker you go off of vibes. On, you go that, off of vibe. 99 to 2000, come on, so nigga. Hey, but now, that's the only song that's like... For everybody. It don't matter. Like, your, your granny, like, your yeah. grandma, the mother of a church. Yeah. You turn on, back that ass up. <laughs> come on, bro. Duh. You got... And then, like... Now, I Uncle Luke, come on. It's just certain shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, for example, Pony. A genuine. Man. I don't give a fuck what race you are. I Man. don't care. <laughs> that shit, come on. Everybody is wild. Hell, fuck yeah, nigga. Sweat, nigga. So, I nigga. ain't talking about them songs, but you know yeah. the ones. Yeah. Knuck if you buck, come on. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know the words because I'm from Atlanta. Yeah. But I also know the girls in Atlanta that know every word. Still, they were swinging on bitches. Crown my 
had uh, that nice little run, dog. What's that? Diamond? Who's the dark skin? Yeah, di- no, no. Princess was the dark skin. Light skin was, was diamond. Yeah, that's, what's she fucking with? What's her name for a minute? Scrappy, yeah. Scrappy. Hold on, nigga. Oh, I don't give a fuck with nobody. Yeah, she got a dunk. Come on. Just, yeah, hey, she got a dunk. Yeah, that's, that's, one of, that's the one of them. And that's when you be in the shit. club, nigga. You could be drinking, pissing. You run out the bathroom, nigga. Yep. Fine. Because you ain't missing out on that motherfucker. That's what I'm ass. saying. You know, the one, you know the songs I'm talking about, though. The ones that you, they, they shouldn't know. Yeah. Like, now, you from Atlanta, nigga. Like, Scrappy was that nigga when he first came out, though. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. Yeah, he was. He, little Scrappy and East Side Boys, nigga. Because Lil John was that nigga, and Lil John put him in the position. No, and that's, nigga, when you watching the Versus Battle, you forget how many fucking hits Lil John had. Y'all forgot. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, Lil John was my nigga, dog. Lil hey, John was my nigga, dog. I, like, you might still catch me in the car with myself and turn some of that shit on. Dog, but Scrappy, that motherfucking nigga, I remember that's the first time I got high, dog. We listening to that little Scrappy shit on Senior Skip Day. I went to somebody else's school shit. This nigga. Homeboy, he best friends with um his, his homeboy Trey. Trey, big brother, is at this park. Mm-hmm. My first time smoking weed. I'm so high. I'm thinking like, damn, he gonna tell his little brother. His little brother gonna tell my brother. My brother gonna tell my mama. That's how high I am, nigga. You overanalyzing like I'm a motherfucker. I'm thinking about eight niggas. How this shit can just <laughs> transition, nigga? Like it's too late. Is... You already hit the blunt. You mother, no, keep going. I'm like this pick and roll about to go forever, nigga. Like, <laughs> 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 nigga, I was so high, nigga, and listen to motherfucking uh little scrappy. I remember I'm fat nigga when Lil Scrappy had that song um, "Living in the Projects" with the oh, Tupac yeah. sample. Yeah, I'm like this nigga gonna be cold, but I don't know if love hip hop fucked him up. It, it's it was a whole lot of shit behind that. Yeah. Like niggas have fucked up contracts, mm-hmm. and after a certain amount of CDs and the money ain't coming in how you think it's supposed to come in. Yeah, and you got to think about the crunk era died down and them niggas ain't know how to turn that shit off and evolve. Speaking of fifty, he was signed with G Unit for a hot second. Nigga. But he ain't that. That's when he put out the living in the project. Yeah, yeah. Try but to you got to think about it. He bit. still ain't. He ain't know how to evolve, bro. Yeah. Little man. Scrappy still is in crunk mode to yeah. this day, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. But back then you had motherfucking uh, D Four L. You had motherfucking uh, franchise boys, nigga. Kept a white tee with them. Parlay. Dog. Yeah. You had uh, nigga before two chains. The two chains. You a titty boy with the uh, what's the Devil name? back boys. Yeah, nigga. I remember, nigga. That's when Wayne was hot. That nigga on a hook and blew that bitch up. Just on, hey. No verse, nigga. A hook. Wayne was the only person that, like, can take your song, and I don't even want to listen to the regular version no more. Dog. When that nigga, what was that, uh, Mr. No Ceilings? Yeah. Dog, and then you got the, uh, shit he had with, um, with, uh, the Ice cream drama paint job shit. was never the same for me, Dog, bro. that nigga took everybody's shit and was just destroying it. Yeah, even, I for even Swag Surfing, and I love the Swag Surfing song, because, yeah. like nigga. I said, that shit got a whole nother meaning for I was Atlanta. I that bitch being in the club, nigga, you grown crazy on that shit, I just, too. And I'm talking I bought so much Ralph Lauren off that shit, bro. <laughs> but when Wayne got on that bitch, I ain't never listened to the regular Swag Surfing unless I was in the club. Dog, hell no, yeah. Well, shit, we stay on this, on this shit, you said, like, basically, yo, your pops had put you on music and shit, dog. Yeah. He was rapping, too. Yeah. Your pops, he from Detroit, right? Yeah, he from Detroit. He from Detroit. Your mom, she from Detroit? Yeah, she from Detroit. And then she had moved to Atlanta. Yeah. All right, so your pops, he was rapping and shit like. Like, what was his style? Like, as far as, like, old school dude? My dad, my dad was, like, all right, what? so, so early on, they was rapping, and it was, like, house music and shit. Mm-hmm. That shit evolved into, you know, the Detroit scene evolved from house music to gangster rap. Yeah. So, around the time with, like, Proof, Obi Trice, Royce the 5'9", and all them was just getting big, yeah. my pops and them had a rap group, so they was rapping about the same shit, though, like, yeah. Eminem shit, like, Guns and Butter type shit. Yeah, 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 for sure. My pops was in the group with them. He rapping about the same shit, but he was more like on some Rick Ross boss type shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Which I really wish my dad would have put out some shit by himself. Like, yeah. If I was older, I would have tried to produce that shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what was the name of his group? Full Clip. Full Clip? Yeah. Oh, shit. They ain't got no songs you can listen to, nigga? I still listen to them. Oh. They, had, they had a song dedicated to my grandma called Still Grieving. So yeah. I still listen to that joint. But the yeah. other the other shit, for real, for real, it's hard. Yeah. I just, it didn't, it don't fit the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, that's, that shit crazy because I was looking at, uh, I, I, t- I tell this nigga this shit all the time. I was listening to a Drink Champ interview with Ice T, yeah. and the way he was rapping his old verses, that shit fit was that fit the Detroit scene. That's what you gotta make. You gotta make timeless music. Nigga, Ice T was saying some shit that niggas in Detroit be saying. If he would just spare that bitch up a little bit, Ice T sound like that's why I say the Bay and Detroit is same. like fucking brothers, nigga. Like yeah. they sound the same, nigga. I was listening to some same. niggas in the Bay, nigga. I don't even know these niggas. I was just at home doing the quarantine shit, bored as fuck, listening to underground niggas from the Bay. Like, dog, yeah. these niggas sound just like Sada. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> It's because no matter what hood you in, even if you go to the A, it's all we all on the same shit. Mm-hmm. It's just a matter of the lingo. Yep. Like up here, you say you might be like that nigga lying like a mother. Now, nah, hey, that's cap. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's, I mean, it's just no, the lingo. Oh, oh, that shit funny. When we, now, nigga, you know that shit. When we was talking to uh, Kev, nigga, my old barber in, t- in Dallas. So I'm like, nigga, we was talking about a runner. So I'm saying in Detroit we call that a bust though. Yeah. He like bust though. What the fuck is that? I'm like that's a runner. Oh, we call that a bop. 
Yeah. Down there, motherfucker in Texas, like, nigga, that's a bop. Like, yeah. oh, she a bop. That's how he's called at the rip. And then when he, a oh, rip? Yeah, she a rip. <laughs> she is a rip. <laughs> that's how I used to go. So when he said bop, when he said bop, I'm thinking, like, I'm thinking bops might be some rims or some shit. Like, no, that's a motherfucking runner, nigga. That's a, I'm like, oh, we call that shit a stove. Like, it'd be funny. This nigga dying, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Only that bitch, nigga, producer, motherfucking killing himself. <laughs> he heard it. She was a rip. He, no. he, he ran it to her. He like. <laughs> what a rip set. What a rip set. Duh. What's y'all, uh. Oh, shit. Like, you know, up here, we got jitting and shit. Mm -hmm. Y'all got some shit. Like, I think they do that shit in, 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 in Chicago. Y'all got, like, a dance, nigga, like, that just, like. Every dance, bro. Come on. I'm from Atlanta. That shit came from y'all. Every Snap dance. Music, Snap nigga. music. Duh. Fucking Eastside Stump. Duh. That shit funny. Shit. shit Whoop Rico. Nigga, uh, I can go on for days. The Laffy Taffy, lean with it, rock with it, man. beef it up. Like, we had so many of them motherfuckers. Yeah. It's still going. Hell I feel like yeah. any dance that come out right now, it probably was originated down in Atlanta. And then they make it into a song. Hell yeah. So, who's some, like, since you know you got influences by your dad, who's some niggas that your dad was putting you up on as a, as a little homie? Oh, man. And my, my pops, we, we listen to fucking Tupac. Yeah. E-40. Yeah. Shit. E forty. E forty. You fuck with E forty? Hell yeah. I fuck with E forty since a kid. Yeah. Just I never I ain't gonna lie, I'll be lying to you if I say I'm like the biggest E forty fan. I like some songs and stuff and I respect him just as a as a person like his like we talked about Nipsey on the last one. Yeah. E forty is that type of nigga yeah. who just like I think Nipsey would have been like him. Like E forty got nigga E forty can go involved with the times, nigga, no matter how old he is. Yeah, if you listen to is. Nip, Nip mentioned him. But he yeah. might not he might didn't say E forty, he called him yeah. Earl. Yeah. See E forty and Master P is the two niggas. If I ever made it big in them in the game, I'll go to them niggas for like just just some just some game and shit, dog. Like Yeah, I go I'll go and chop it up with them, but it's certain shit I wouldn't do. What up? What, what is it? And I say that because like I look up to No Limit and, and Master P like everybody else. Hell Probably right. a little bit more. Like I said when I was little, my pops my pops love Master P, my Hell nigga. Right, like yeah. literally no, I bought I had some Percy Millers, nigga. I don't think <laughs> nobody else had them. Hell no. So like I listen to them, but it's certain shit the way they do stuff. Yeah. Like those shoes that Master P was about to put out recently because he was trying to put out some designer shoes. Yeah. I'm going to get with a nigga. There was another guy that was on the Breakfast Club. He I made seen that designer nigga. shoes. Yeah, uh, do with the glasses. The yeah, beard. no yeah. bitches hard. I'm going to get with somebody that knows something about yeah. it. You know what I'm and saying? I'm put not my name behind it. I'm not going to just try to put out some shit and make and then get mad and niggas be like, bro, I can't. Those shit's ugly. What yeah. the fuck is this? Like, just because you butt don't mean, nigga, I still got to tell you. I got to buy them because like, <laughs> shit. No, you still charging me I know exactly what you're talking about, dog. Like, that's when, uh, Rick, uh, not Rick, I said Rick Ross. Charlamagne was like, damn, them almost look like what the uh, Master P shoes could have been. My point exactly. Nigga, but that, that's just like a nigga getting in the, like right now, Kanye Tone running for president. If he don't get aligned with niggas that know about politics, yeah. you, I'm not voting for you, nigga. You're going to be just like this other nigga. And yeah. we don't know what you're going to be on for. Yeah, real. if you're going to be the nigga uh, back doing what he doing, nigga, or having his type of his type of shit going on. You can't fuck with You're really going to fuck with the black community. Like, and then at this at this point, nigga, I told people, like, being running for president is almost going to be like a joke when other countries look at us and see what the fuck is going on. It's going to be a joke, dog. Yeah, like, they, they right now, take right now they're making this shit into like a fame race. Mm -hmm. And it's like the more people, basically, the more people you can get to follow you on Instagram, the more votes you're gonna get. You feel me? Like, but that's actually funny. Go back to that Master P shit because, like, he was mad, I guess, because what's ain't said his shit was trash. Uh, uh, Charlamagne, yeah, but I mean, that's, that's why I special Charlamagne. He gonna always keep it. You real. need niggas to keep it funky with you. You do, like, dog. if my shit whack, tell me, bro. Nigga, please, if you see me <laughs> out and I'm and I'm slipping, bro. Hey, nigga, put I'm me big. up on game. That's why whenever I do any music, nigga, I send it to this nigga, dog, because he gonna tell me if it's trash. Yeah. Like, please tell me it's trash, nigga. Don't yeah. tell me, nigga, oh, yeah, I'm just straight. And then everybody else looking like, nigga, what? Like, this I don't even give a fuck if I get offended, nigga. You hear some shit, my shit sound off. Hey, hit me up, nigga. <laughs> Let me know. Hell yeah, because you going to respect the nigga going to keep it real. And I might and I might not. It might be a nigga. Damn, this nigga fucked up, cuz. That <laughs> motherfucker bite his ass. <laughs> I want to say I might and I might not. It might be a nigga that I really don't respect on his on his taste of music in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. nigga, you listen to Bow Wow. I ain't. I don't really give a fuck how you feel about my music. My music no. wasn't for you. Yeah. Now speaking of Master P, dog, like, why you think Wilson couldn't like blow up for real, Romeo? Romeo? Because he he came out of Bow Wow Shadows. No, because that's like for example, we all in the room and my pops in the room, and say my pops don't like me to cuss or some shit. Yeah. I'm gonna be real cautious while I'm trying to spit. Yeah. Because I don't want to offend nobody. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Master P ain't never really take his hands off of Romeo and just let Romeo be Romeo. Yeah, yeah. All we know is Romeo is Master P's son, yeah, and yeah. he gonna do what Master because he Master P got one of them old mindsets of I'm your daddy, so you gonna do what I tell you to do because I'm your daddy. Yeah. Not I'm your business partner, and this shit better for the business. You yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we don't really know what Romeo would have been. Yeah. So you think like nigga, if you had a son, nigga, you 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 big like. Would you help? Would you help him on his writing skills? Like, I'm writing for who? Who the fuck coming write for Romeo, dog? With the shit he was putting out. His daddy. 
Damn, that was so trash. Or Silk the Shocker. Oh, he's super trash. Don't get Silk Shocker. Give me C. Murd, nigga. Like, <laughs> he was in jail. I know. Nigga, send me some motherfucking shit. He was going to send him some mad shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. So shit it's just shit that wasn't going to fit into Romeo Light. Like, we talk shit about Bow Wow and shit, but as a kid, Bow Wow probably the only nigga as a kid who haven't grown up and go crazy. As a kid, he went crazy. But as a kid. I'm like, you know how them motherfuckers go crazy like, and be out there. He out there. <laughs> He out there, bro. If you really yeah. go look at like his Twitter and all that shit, Bow Wow yeah. be saying some wild shit. You I think I think Bow Wow don't know he he thirty three years old. I think it's the fact I think, that <laughs> I think it's I the think fact that he never got the respect he really deserved. Yeah. So that shit'll drive a nigga crazy. Cause you had T I Ray for this nigga, Jermaine Dupree, the brat. Like he had some shit like Bro, he had bangers. Yeah. He, right now he could do one of those verses and tear somebody ass up just he with do, his shit from back in the day. They're gonna say he Bow Wow. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. You can't you can't really gauge a nigga from being a a bow wow and then engage him for being bow wow in the bad way in the same time. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's yeah. more so like his antics though. Yeah, do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you really think about it, it's his antics because really, you know, we ain't never seen a nigga go from a child star to being on CSI to yeah. being on 106 in Park. That every movie he put out, I'm going to watch. I'm going to buy that bitch on DVD. My kid's going to watch it. Yeah. Like he a, he a legend for real. Yeah, but at the yeah. same time, he but bow wow. Niggas be too scared And to he lied about shit. getting on a private plane and all that other <laughs> shit. So he out there. Yeah. But niggas be too scared to say that shit. Like, I respect the nigga, dog. As a little nigga, you know, you be like, oh, this fuck this little nigga. But, no, oh, Bow Wow was, was straight. I re- he made like the I said, music. I say whatever right now. I'm like, hey, I'll give you a classifier shit. <laughs> yeah, Bow Wow's Hey, I'll though. chop it up with the nigga, but I'll also tell him, bro, stop trying so hard. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see Bow Wow with no gun in his hand. Mm. I don't want to see Bow Wow. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. Bow Wow, you Bow Wow, nigga. You more like Terrence J or some shit, nigga. Yeah. I ain't trying to <laughs> hear all that gangster shit from yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to rapping about the bitches and shit, he a motherfucking genius. He nigga. a genius, like, bro. But at he, the same time, he, like I said, he, really, he really was supposed to be the next Will Smith, bro. Or LL Cool J. I say, like I say Will Smith because yeah. LL didn't start in some movies, but he ain't never really starred in, like, the movie was based around him. Every movie that Bow Wow in, basically, them bitches is based around him. Yeah. It's like Will Smith shit was. Yeah, he, he did have that, that Will Smith type of He had that vibe, you, but he tried so hard to get out of that out of, yeah. bubble. Yeah, when well, you should have stayed in that bitch and just nigga ate off that shit, dog. Like, to this day, bro, Will Smith is one of the greatest actors of all time. You ain't never seen Will Smith off outside of a movie with a gun in his hand, a blunt, <laughs> none of that shit. Mm-hmm. Shit, speaking of, how you feel about this August August I've seen this shit, bro? man? I don't really give a fuck about that shit. Yeah, but it's like it's all over the place. My it's thing it's is all like, over the place, but at the same time, it's like. Let them people move how they gonna move. Yeah. And if he got played, he got played, nigga. Take your licks and, and keep it pushing. Yeah, but just don't. I, I don't think you need a whole interview to talk about this, this shit. This shit was bro. publicity. You, you know, all yeah, this I've seen had an album. Yeah, yeah. Before this? Yeah. See, I'm that type of nigga, though. If I'm playing, if I'm paying for a title, like you I. You look up everything. I'm listening. I'm okay. looking at all new music from RB and rap. Because I got album music and I ain't see his shit even scroll across. <laughs> I ain't even see his shit scroll across the new music until he did this interview. And real talk, though, like Joe Button, he be putting me on a lot of shit. When I listen to Joe Button podcast, I ain't got on, I got put on her from Joe Button podcast, Daniel mm-hmm. Caesar yeah, from Joe Button podcast, Daniel. Benny and them niggas from the um yeah what they, Benny what the they, butcher Benny butcher and his whole group Griselda. I got that shit from a Joe Button podcast like the thing that's oh man but that's what I'm saying you didn't have to do this shit if it's you good did. music that bitch gonna it's gonna seep it's gonna through circulate yeah and no. we fuck with August I fuck with August I've seen him bro I listen to his mixtapes yeah. still his old ones he got one song that fuck me to the day nigga that shit called Mama or some shit nigga. yeah like, so really all he had to do is where the visuals and shit at. Yeah. The only visual I got in your in my mind of August I've seen right now is this nigga in this interview with Looking this crazy. fucked up hair dude. <laughs> and then if you did motherfucking beat Jay Pickett, dog, just nigga live my fancy. Nigga, don't, don't sit here and be fucking talking about how she did nigga like nigga like just don't put that shit out there. But you gotta day, look at it though, like niggas ain't gonna fuck with you on that shit. They gonna be believing whatever Will and she said, dog. Rather he a joke, rather it's fucking oh yeah, he hit Jada. It's all for publicity, bro. Yeah. Cause we know we seen it. We yeah. seen him with her. And we, we seen how that he you know what Without you saying it, nigga. We Even if he just came yeah. on and said, yeah, I hit her. And kept it pushing, nigga. That yeah. was, was going to sell you at least 100000 like, She touched my heart. She was in it. If I died a day, like, I knew a, I was in love. But at the same time, I don't know what mental space dog in. Get you some effing and get no. yourself together, hey, bro. Yeah, nigga, get your motherfucking effing slash some motherfucking cologne. Dude. Yeah, some, <laughs> some curve, nigga. Yeah, that curve drink, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, well, no. But shit, we, I got some other off the wall type shit to ask, but we gonna get to your shit, dog. Like, on the flow, it. dog. Let's do it. It's on, on the flow, the for real. Flow, dog. First off, how you get the uh, the title of the name on the flow? Like, being up here in the D, everybody up here, though. Yeah. It's on the flow. It's, it's sure. on the flow. Like that means the shit lit. Yeah, yeah that means yeah, it's yeah. a move on the flow. We like we got shit to do. Yeah. So like that's the vibe I have for the whole tape. Like nigga, since since this Corona shit been going on, the pandemic. Soon as this bitch open back up, it's on the flow. Yeah, hell yeah. And for my life, nigga, from now on, it's on the flow with me. 
you see me, just know I'm on the move. Don't. Yeah. If you want to fuck with some shit, all right, call Buddy because it's on the floor with Buddy. Hell like, yeah, hell yeah. And I also want to take a new saying back to the A. All my niggas that listen to my music in Atlanta or anywhere else and just put them hip. Yeah. Cause right now, to me, Atlanta and Detroit is running into each other a yeah. lot. Hell yeah. So I already know it's it's, about, it's only a matter of time for this shit mingle and and it's gonna be it already is. You got Yachty with Sada Baby with T Grizzly. You got everybody wearing buffs now. Like it's just the, what the times that we in. Hell yeah. So shit. And right now, if you go downtown at night, it's on the flow. Hell yeah. Yeah, but then that's funny you say that shit. Cause I'm thinking like when you call niggas and you be like, "Though how's looking over there?" Like. You, you can say that shit is on the floor. It's on the floor. It's or, just or, saying for or, everything. You're slapping. Or like, nigga, you got that shit. Or you be like, oh, nigga, shit, it's all right. You, nigga, I ain't going to that motherfucker. Yeah, but nigga tell you it's all right. You already know you ain't pulling like, up. Oh, we wait for some more niggas and shit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm telling like, you, you call a nigga on the fourth, like yesterday. That's why I dropped on the fourth of July. Probably every cousin you call, nigga, probably tell, it's on the floor for the night, yeah, nigga. nigga. For real, nigga. I'm, man, them fireworks is on the fucking them floor. For real, on nigga. The floor. <laughs> I, I was riding over here, nigga, like, God damn, these niggas been cleaned up and sweet behind themselves. These niggas got the whole block fucked up, dog. <laughs> Now look, I the shit just came out yesterday. I was doing a whole bunch of shit, but nigga, like the song, I I like your uh the intro. Mm -hmm. I like Woozy. Mm -hmm. I like the uh what C three flow. Yeah, that shit cold as fuck. Good looking. And last one, but nigga, on the intro you said uh we gonna uh, first time ever nigga break down this. Some I like this shit. type of shit. So nigga, on the first one you were like nigga, I tell my dogs is on the floor like an air mattress. I can't let them throw me off. I got superior balance. That shit have nigga out. Air mattress, nigga. We all went through that shit, nigga. Everybody, air mattress day. You, everybody had an air mattress, and that bitch ain't never on no box spring. Nigga. That shit is on the floor. <laughs> and you bro. always got somebody who always trying to throw you off your balance. In the air mattress, nigga, get a little hole in that bitch and try to pass you it on the up. flow. <laughs> 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 you on the? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm glad we break it down later. This shit was a triple entendre. You dog, feel me? Because nigga, I remember having air mattress, dog. My, my me and my family you always get bitch. a hole in that bitch. I don't hey, even nigga, know how. No matter if you got the motherfucker pass they give you, you get motherfucking uh uh uh. uh uh, gorilla glue, <laughs> nigga. I just seen a nigga super glue and tape that nigga, bitch and woke up on the floor, nigga. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. My grandma, my grandma, nigga. Well, my girl, grandma, nigga. My grandma, nah, she be married. Yeah. She had that shit that was on the um commercial. Maybe he was slapping the motherfucking shit. The word would yeah, come out. <laughs> I smacked my air mattress with that bitch, nigga. That bitch she still went on the floor. It was, nigga. My, my son was sleeping on that bitch. We had the expensive, nigga. The $80 air mattress, boy. The, the, That's what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck how much. The top boy, nigga. I don't give a fuck how much you paid for this bitch. It's still you gonna end up on the floor, dog. And then, like I said, you always got niggas that's gonna try to knock you off your off your ground, nigga. Man, it's gonna be niggas, bitches, family, anybody mm -hmm. that you that's not agreeing with what you got going on, and motherfuckers. Especially if it's on the floor and somebody ain't on the floor for somebody else, yeah. they ain't gonna try to throw you off. So, nigga, with that shit, I was thinking like, nigga, on the floor, air mattress. I just I, I put that together, just talking about the struggle days to to me, mm -hmm. like, nigga, that's the struggle. Yeah. So, nigga, what's your most like struggle moment as a kid? Like, right now, we going through this shit with this heat, and I'm hot. That's why we got the fan off. Y'all hear that bitch? Yeah. I'm thinking about, nigga, I actually survived 18 summers plus with no air conditioner, nigga. No central air, nigga. Okay. It's on the floor with the motherfucking fan, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, for the Definitely show. Had, my, my struggle days, <laughs> my struggle days, bro, it still was on the floor for me. I ain't even gonna lie, like... You would think you could think about it when niggas really in the struggle. You make that shit fun. Them the funnest times, bro. Nigga, hell so man. really, I ain't never looked that shit into a struggle until you literally saying it out your mouth. Yeah. Like or like you look back, like you be like, damn, you turn that motherfucking central air on real quick, like like I'm gonna do when I get to the crib. Yeah. But you think like nigga, you be waiting At for at some nine. point you ain't had this motherfucker. No, nigga, you waiting for ten o'clock for that breeze to come through. You put that box fan in the window. Yeah. Nigga. I mean that, that's what I'm saying. The shit that we that we do you now. Turn down some pussy because it's too hot, nigga. We're like hold on. Cause. I don't know about that. We gonna be sweating oh, no, together. Oh, no, hold on, I did, nigga. I turned down. Some, it's together, too hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They might. We might take a break. We might give up. But like, <laughs> the shit gonna start somewhere. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. I'm dripping like I'm hooping. You feel me? We in the bitch. Like God damn. <laughs> I hate being hot, dog. Like me too. I mean, I did it, but it's like, dog. Like you be like, you be like, oh, I can't wait till ten o'clock. That breeze come through. You heard me throw that fan in that motherfucking window. I'm Take telling. that motherfucker screen out, nigga. Yeah, but you that's what I'm saying. Like hands on your motherfucking ass at the end, But the crazy part, keep it one hundred. When niggas ain't had no central air, none of that shit. You still had a house full of people. Oh, for sure. And it was on the flow. Niggas still <laughs> brought the liquor, all that <laughs> shit. You feel me, nigga? My my nigga might sit in the garage. It's hot as hell in this bitch. Duh. We still gonna smoke. We gonna do whatever we gonna do. Fuck, fuck yeah, nigga. I remember my mom had the way, nigga. She was rotating the motherfucking fans. She had that bitch, nigga, in the living room, in the hallway, the bathroom. That bitch is doing a circle. And, I, that and bitch. that's why I gotta say, like, I'm glad you asked that question. I gotta salute my moms too. Yeah. I never knew if it was a struggling situation. You don't. 
Until like, afterwards. Until, like I said, if you get grown or you get older, you're able to say, like, damn, boy, I remember when we no. had no minutes on our fucking phones, nigga, nigga like, minutes. or the lights got cut out, you feel me? Minutes, nigga, you go and buy a $10 car, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> These but kids don't know shit about that. You ain't that. using that bitch for emergency purposes. You supposed to. All right, I'm on the way. Bye. I done caked all them bitches out, nigga. <laughs> nigga, this nigga what Mal, nigga. He already know a story about the tail, nigga. I was, uh, I moved out and shit, dog. My mom was mad as fuck. Producer Howard Stern, Cute Lewis, whatever you want to call this nigga. This nigga used to get Malcolm. This nigga had all, my little brother had phones since third grade, nigga. Damn. Nigga, the only little nigga with a motherfucking, the, the uh, nest tail chirp. Oh, I had one. The money sign. Sure. In third grade. Sure. Nigga, chirping bitches on third grade. Lou, so, nigga. Oh, Okay, he was still hella. Snake yeah, he, he was, was still, still young. He was still hella young with a phone. Like God, I man. definitely had one by then. So nigga, so um, this one particular time, you know how like um, I don't know if it's like Verizon, Sprint, Singular, whatever it was, T-Mobile, one of them bitches. You know how like you get free nights and weekends and yeah. shit. So this nigga got a little girlfriend. This nigga on that bitch after long, nigga. He 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 fought the nights and weekends, nigga. I'm in mean, that bitch during the day. I nigga, I love you. you feel <laughs> like, me? And that's so, why the next cell check came in handy. Nigga, my it mom, came in handy. You just. Hurry up, hey! <laughs> yeah, what you doing? Where you at? Like, it's on the flow, cuz it's on the flow. <laughs> all right, man. You need to get some of them bitches for a video. That's all right, dog. For real, nigga. So, uh, my mom, I remember she pulled up on me, dog, cuz you know I'm in this bitch. I'm Carlos at the time and shit. So my mom picking me up. I'm going back to her house. I'm using her car to get the get to the club and get to the hoes and shit, nigga. Yeah. So nigga, she's like, yeah, this nigga melt. This nigga built five hundred dollars. This nigga all on the phone with his girl, nigga. I'm like, damn. She mad as hell, but guess what, nigga? Had to pay a bitch down. Got to. You got to pay 100 here, 100 there, nigga. <laughs> you Fuck paying that. that 500 down, nigga. I remember them days on phones, the minute phones. That bill get that high, nigga. You go to the next phone. You ain't paying that <laughs> bill. Yeah. Hell yeah. Put that I shit feel, in the next nigga, name. I, I can't get T-Mobile, Sprint, nigga. My shit, my girl, nigga. nigga I got motherfucking cricket right now, nigga. iPhone cricket, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I that phone, bitch work. Yeah, that bitch work better than something. Niggas, my, my girl T-Mobile shit go out. My shit still be working. <laughs> tower's going down, nigga. That cricket tower still It's always up. like that, man. Hell yeah. But yeah, dog, that shit funny. Them, now, I never had a chirp, but like, do a chirp. Like, say you got a girl and you with a girl. That can't, shit going off. Yeah, I always wonder that shit, dog. That shit going off. That shit can fuck your whole that shit go off up. in the middle of class, nigga. Like, that shit don't. I used to chirp my dad. He'd be at work, nigga. I'd be at school. I just found out some Jordans come out. Hey, them Jordans <laughs> come out on Saturday. My <laughs> dad, I'm at work, nigga. <laughs> Like, like now I get kicked out the class. Like the shit just that's Dog, how the church that works. That's funny. My son just hit me up like, yeah, you know, two K come out. Can you uh, pre order a hundred dollar boy and you get the? He said you pre order a hundred dollar boy and you get the sixty one for free. You got to though. You ain't so gonna like, play that shit like that. Yeah. So he said I want the hundred dollar boy and then when the when the five come out, nigga already said I'm getting him the five on Christmas. He told you. Yeah, I'll get that one for the five. But the uh, the, <laughs> the one hundred thing about you gonna get it. Yeah. Them, them not, that's why I call him like my, my oldest son. I call him Poppy. Like, yeah. if you watch any mafia movies and shit, like, that'd be, like, the, the Don's name. Like, yeah. pa- man, my son's is a boss, nigga. Like, then they call me, yeah, I want them Jordans that's coming out. Like, what the fuck you know about some Jordans, bro? Yeah. Like, you only, you only six. Man, nigga, yeah. you get to tell. What you, when did you go to work? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, my son called me, nigga, like, yesterday. He, like, he, he was mom for the summer. He be back August, nigga. He like, bitch, like, I need these flip-flops. We going to the motherfucking uh, water park. I'm like, damn, ain't you with your mama, nigga? Yeah. That's what my dumb ass did. Or them bitches. You got a bomb. Sent them, and I got them bitches a little rush job, nigga. So I paid an extra ten dollars. But that's what I'm saying. That, <laughs> that that little shit right there, man. That shit mean the world to a nigga like yeah, you. Yeah, cause know. you be mad, but at the end of the day, you gonna do whatever you can for your kids. I'm gonna do like, and some. Yeah, like nigga, my girl, she even realized that shit. Like she put down, like nigga, I'm gonna do whatever to make them happy. I told my son I cussed this nigga out one day, dog, cause it's one thing I could give him. I said, cause look, you in your room, right? You by yourself, nigga. You got two game system in this bitch. You got your own phone. You got motherfuckers some Beats headphones, nigga. You, nigga, you got it made, nigga. You got every shoe you want, nigga. Paul George's, Kyrie's, KD's, like yeah. you got them. Right. Nigga, shut the fuck up, bro. I'm gonna punch in your chest, <laughs> like nigga. I'm really about to punch in your shit. Dog. A nigga like me can't. I can't even talk to my son like that. Duh. For the simple fact that, like, if I do. My dad gonna talk to me crazy off the strength, like nigga, that was you. Yeah, that's it's the exact same like, shit you used to do here, me. Nigga, she say the same thing, nigga. My son, nigga, just like me, nigga. I told the story on this last one, nigga. I remember crying my ass off, dog, for my mom to order the Royal Rumble, nigga. Oh shit, WWE, nigga. Yeah. And you had some shit on your shit, the Nitro, nigga. I caught that shit. Oh yeah, WCW, WCW. like Nitro. Niggas ain't catch. <laughs> niggas wasn't watching WC. Nigga. Somebody asked me like, bro, what you meant by that, like, bro. No. All right, I'm gonna let, let's explain this shit. Yeah, hey, let's explain this shit. The line was. Uh, what I say, and that's worth the that first of all the C it's called C three flow because yeah. it was some word play off of C three yeah. Carter three. Okay, okay, okay. Makes and sense. What that nigga said, I don't give a motherfuck. 
you know what I'm saying? That that's all came from the Wayne yeah, shit. Yeah, I yeah. just flipped it. Like I don't give a fuck, motherfucker. Get your mama crib here and get your baby mama fuck. Damn, it, it is a car three shit. Yeah, and I was like, that's <laughs> worth the that's worth the maestro. Niggas don't even even they don't even know who Maestro is. Yeah. If you watch The Wire, the little nigga, yeah. Maestro, <laughs> nigga been following me on Instagram and always on my shit, like always watching my stories and shit. Yeah. yeah. So I said that's worth the Maestro. Yeah. I dated all my WCWs like Nitro. Yeah, money, yeah. Nitro, nigga. Nitro is wrestling. That's what, wrestling, that, that's what WCW was going at, motherfucking WWF. Yeah, nigga. that shit was lit. Yeah, <laughs> for real, nigga. That NWF was lit. nigga added everybody on that bitch. Nigga, nigga Scott Hall was my nigga. <laughs> Scott and, Hall, and niggas nigga. don't know like, but before who nigga, Big Papa Pump. I was just about to say Scott Steiner. Yeah, nigga, nigga dog. My and nigga. Dallas, Dallas, uh, Diamond Page, like. Yeah. But niggas don't know. I ain't really know about WCW till I moved to Atlanta, because yeah. uh, they was ran by Turner Turner South. Yep. Which is you know that's Atlanta. Even Turner Field is the baseball field. So yeah. that shit was big in my childhood. And like I said, you know WCW. That's that's what niggas post for their Women Crush Wednesdays Hell and all yeah. that other shit. But I dated oh, all nigga, mine. My, my nigga still putting WCWs out, dog. They where? And he grown. Oh, no, nah, I don't do that. <laughs> my nigga, I ain't gonna put his name out there, nigga. I know Mountain know who I'm talking about. I mean, nigga. hey, if it works for like, him. Cause I'm 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 on a search for WCW. It's like, cause it's, it's 2020, cuz. Calm down. If nigga. it worked for him. Yeah. <laughs> you was talking shit about uh, how you talking about you always gonna do for your son and all that shit. Yeah. Cause you talking shit about them vans. That's why you Hold said on. my mom. Oh, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you real quick. Let me talk to you, nigga. Me and nigga had a whole argument, dog. My son, you know, how much do regular vans cost, nigga? Just tell me. All the 40 to 60 yeah, somewhere up in forty. My 40 son brought me dollars. some vans that cost two hundred. Some custom there was vans. Some, there was some custom drinks. Okay. Nigga, nigga, I'm like, I'm like, cuz, you crazy, nigga? I'm about to punch nigga in the chest, dog. Me and nigga arguing like, nigga, you you started that nigga that way. You gotta keep it going. <laughs> Bro, you gotta keep, bro. Duh. I can't <laughs> never get mad at my. I can never get mad at my son about no shoes, clothes, video game. Cause I'm the one that started this shit. Yeah. Like my son' first <laughs> shoes was the six, the infrared sixes. Duh. And them bitches wasn't back out in storage yet. You feel me? So I paid extra for a shoe he gonna grow out of in a week. Nigga, a week. So why the fuck gonna be mad now when this nigga be lie, like nigga, them 11s nigga, come out? He, he came out the motherfucking um hustle hospital nigga with a Jordan outfit on. Nigga. That's what I'm saying. You started this shit. Man. <laughs> You can't get mad because you started this shit. Duh, y'all oh, niggas, niggas. Oh, nigga. Yeah, wait till they just ass, set and Balenciagas and shit. No, that's why I'm, I'm already looking like niggas. This nigga might be 14, nigga. I got to start saving up right now to get whipped when he's you 16. Gotta, bro, this is what you got to do. You got to start teaching your kids financial literacy. Yeah. And when I say that, start the little nigga out with a credit card. Yeah. Start him up like you know what I'm saying. He gotta learn that like you maxed your shit out, bro. You can't get no more shoes. You yeah. you you should have got them when you had your money. Yeah, yeah. That's but all, got, you know what I'm saying. You teaching them all, about credit. Whole, you teaching them about responsibility. Yeah, this whole Corona shit, dog. Like I got this little kids line, Young Kings, Young Queens. Yeah, shit called Young Excellence and shit. So I'm like, dog. Like wherever this shit goes, I'm hoping it go big, nigga. This is gonna be my kids' shit. It's gonna go big. It's gonna be a shit though. Yeah, I'm giving it to is they, is they shit, nigga. Like right now, they have faces of it, nigga. If I put anything down, it's gonna say they the motherfucking careers of that shit, all that shit. Yeah. So if anything happened to me, nigga, you got this shit. This you yours. got something already lined up. Yeah. yeah, this yours, nigga. Like nigga. that's another way for him to make his money. Yeah. Tell him you got to model this shit. Hell yeah, I'll you pay got you. you got to push this shit in school. Young dog, you shit. owe me like ten percent. I just got you a job. <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. That's hard though. Now uh, an another shit, nigga. In that same shit, the intro, nigga. You said, nigga, she might be a ten, but to me, she a pest. Yeah, that shit true. That shit is one hundred. You like, get the motherfucking diamonds, bitch. Like she be getting on I'm your sorry, goddamn nerves. Diamonds, chick, nigga. She be she can get on your fucking nerves. Yeah, and yeah. to me, every nigga, you every nigga that see me with her, you want her, but you, like, you don't even know, bro. She you can't even afford her. First of all, secondly, she gonna get on your bro. It's, no. She want all this attention, all kind of shit. Yeah. She a pest. Yeah. <laughs> like so, yeah, a lot yeah. of girls, I will pass up on. If I know you a pest, like yeah, if I kick no. it with you one time, you didn't you didn't got on my fucking nerves. I don't give a fuck how bad you is, yeah, bro. Dog. That that bad shit that that looks be out the door, <laughs> nigga. You could be ugly as fucking inside, nigga. Like you could fuck me. I don't even want to be around you at all, nigga. Like I don't want to be around you, nigga. I remember like nigga chick I mess with in between, in between the in between. If that makes sense, nigga. Like it was <laughs> it's like, on the floor. <laughs> yeah. It was like cause like dog, you are nigga. Like I, I wish you don't say shit. Like don't say shit when we have right. deep conversations. We can't have no deep conversation. Yeah, and then I'm hoping my uncle and tell your ass ain't saying nothing. You try to go ahead and elaborate because then I'm we be, both looking stupid. I'm gonna be sweating and shit like I am right early in the show, nigga. Like, <laughs> dog, damn, damn. This nigga gonna talk hella shit about me when I leave this bitch. Like <laughs> You gotta get with a chick, dog. That's the best thing. When you get with a chick and she can have conversations with you and everybody else, nigga, yeah. and Mike motherfucking teach you some shit, nigga. It can't be no Mike for me though. Yeah, oh, she got to. She like, got to be able to yeah. teach me something. Nigga, yeah. Because I, I, I ain't going to say I know everything. Yeah. But I, like, I know enough to where, like, I'm already teaching you some shit. So what yeah. you going to feed back it to me? For sure. Like, my, my girl that I'm with now, she, she always tell me, like, you got to treat life like a bank. 
Yeah. Like you can't be depositing into everybody else, and they just withdrawing from you. So everybody you're around is taking shit from you, but ain't nobody depositing and shit. And Hell yeah. So like that shit right there, that's free game. I said, I might put that clip on motherfucking IG. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> free game. Hell yeah, dog. But dog, it's like it's like that, dog. Like you gotta be with somebody who gon' who gonna motivate you, and you don't even know she doing it. Yeah. Like it just it just happening because you wanna. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily impress her, but you want to you want you want to go ahead and be a, a good team, dog. Yeah, like, and, and that's why some niggas will take will take the ten. Yeah. That's a piss, and that'll still motivate them because like shit. I said, like everybody say, "Oh, nigga, I always nigga." I tell my kids all the time. I coach basketball, girls and boys. I always tell them, "My nigga, life and sports is the same shit. Mm-hmm. The same shit, nigga." Everybody say how many rings Shaq and Kobe could have won, but at the end of the day, if they ain't vibing with each other, nigga, they ain't gonna they win. Ain't gonna shit win no ring. Real. Nigga, they got those three, but you see, nigga, that was the best team in 2004 in the Pistons to beat their ass. Why? Because they was a fucking team. Yeah, they weren't. They were, nigga, Lakers weren't meshing together. Best, you had probably two, nigga, arguably the top five niggas ever. And, nigga, a whole team, nigga, beat y'all ass. Nobody on that bitch was a motherfucking Superstar. top three pick or none of that shit, nigga. Yeah. I don't even know. Did any of them niggas go to the All-Star game that week? I mean, that, uh, that, that season? Yeah, I don't know. But I know before they had everybody except for mm. But, like, nigga, you got nigga Ben Wallace 6'9", that bitch, nigga, playing center. Yeah, nigga, nigga had heart. Beating Shaq shit, nigga. nigga like, had heart. nigga, you got a rip, nigga, a young Reggie Miller. Yep. Chauncey Bills, nigga, a motherfucking, the best nigga on the team. And he not even like, this nigga then went through like five teams before he got to Detroit. Nah, nigga was mediocre as hell. Hell like, yeah. Every other team. For real, nigga. So That's why, you know, it's perfect timing. Nigga, for real. Shit, line up how That's why relationships to. are just like, like that shit, like sports is just like real life, nigga. Yeah, Rela- relationships like, is the most important thing in anything, bro. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, even in jobs, it's about who you know, not what you know. Hell no. I can come in this bitch and be overqualified, and they're going to tell you you overqualified. Hell but if yeah. the nigga behind the desk that's trying to hire me, I met this nigga at church, he going to give me a job. <laughs> or you can be overqualified and they tell you you're not qualified. That's nigga, and they had the application the other day, nigga, bitch ass mm-hmm. niggas, US fools, niggas paying like $22 an hour, nigga. I did everything on that bitch, nigga. I, I did everything already. These niggas send me a motherfucking email back, like, yeah, you do not fit. Nigga, how? Nigga, I, I told you I worked at Warehouse for six years. Nigga, I worked at Christ. I did, I did everything, nigga. The nigga that sent you the email hired his son. Hell yeah. Hell That's yeah. how important relationships is. You get dog, what I'm saying? Relationships is important as fuck, dog. Yeah. Nigga, with everything, nigga, with every fucking thing, That's why dog. I believe in networking like a motherfucker. That's why with the coaching shit, dog, I was at another school. Whole ass, uh, 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 whole ass nigga. Nigga, he a whole ass nigga. Whole ass, uh, athletic director, nigga. Let me go to bring his niggas in. I, I just want a championship, nigga. Like, how you let me go? So another school, I kind of... She knew who I was. She seen me coach, nigga. She hired me in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Relationships, nigga. Hey, man, you that's, see how it was on the bullshit. Hell yeah, yeah nigga. That, that's last dance. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good example. Nigga, last dance. Them niggas. A relationship crazy. broke up the whole motherfucking team. Nigga, cause, cause the nigga up up yeah. top and shit. But but nigga, with the last dance, you got them niggas pissed off at Mike. Scott I mean, pissed off at Mike. Nigga. I'll be said pissed shit off. About it. Nigga ain't been on TV or nothing. I, I like, feel like I feel like they was already pissed off at it, Mike. Yeah. Because because of what Mike said about the money shit, Mike already felt like that. Yeah. But at the same time, niggas got to know that, first of all, them niggas need to know they old as hell. <laughs> and at any moment, one of them niggas can kick the bucket, bro. This ain't the time, <laughs> this ain't the time to be beefing, you feel me? Because y'all the, y'all the legendary bulls to us for the rest of our lives. Like, yeah. I really don't be want to see Michael Jordan without Scottie Pippen. It don't yeah. make sense. I definitely want to see Scottie without that nigga. Sure. I don't want to hear Horace Grant talk. I don't want to see Ron Harper face. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like they all go together. You feel me? <laughs> like you can't. Y'all too old for that. No, bro. Like, this nigga say, like Jordan was saying, like nigga, basically nigga, you was used to this shit. Why yeah. Why well, try to? All this whole shit? I, I I got what they were saying about the money. I want to get paid. Dick but at the same time, Pippen should got paid more. He than should he have. Paid, but he yeah. was already low board, bro. Yeah. You you in the yeah. contract, bro? A contract is a fucking contract. Yeah, you you knew that when you signed that bitch. Yeah. And the, what Jordan was saying, nigga, basically Jordan had to wait his time. Niggas ain't come in. Them Jordan ones wasn't shit when they came out. Nope. Niggas must forgot them bitches wasn't nothing. Niggas was passing no. them bitches up. They weren't even a hundred dollars yet. I don't think. Hell no. So Not again, on, nigga. he had to put his just do in. Scotty had to put his in. Scotty was good as fuck when he came in, but he wasn't the Scotty that yeah, it ended yeah. up being. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't his worth wasn't that. So once he signed that contract. You built yourself up. Wait till the next contract, nigga. be throwing some gems out there, nigga. Them ones wasn't shit, boy. They was and, and I bought and them ones is one of my favorite ones right now. Like, my no. favorite Jordans. The it's, ones? The, it's my favorite one ones of them. the 11s. Really, my favorite Jordans is ones that don't nobody like. Like, the 16s? Yeah. Niggas hate them bitches. I but love who them. Who was the ones that came? There was the was the 20s, the ones in the suitcase? Uh, what was the suitcase boys? I they cost 200. They were the best. No, nah, no. Nah, them, nah, them, 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 them up there, them like 21s or 22s. I remember, nigga, you coming that bitch with the silver suitcase, nigga. Nigga, start t- taking that bitch to school. Dog, 
suitcase, nigga. My nigga that, Ed brought that bitch to school. Got his books in that bitch. Nigga, I'm here. <laughs> nigga, got your Trump in that bitch. Nigga, playing that motherfucking band. Me? Nigga, I'm here. Nigga, them bitches came out. My mom was like, I'm not paying two hundred. I'm like, damn. My nigga Ed pulled up to the court with them with the suitcase. He got flip flops on. He came to the court, opened the suitcase up. It like Bro. those bitches were shining. Them bitches white and blue. Yeah. And he had the uh, black and red. Matter of fact, them the 18s. Yep, yep, yep. When he played for the Wizards, the first shooter came. Hell yeah, for the Wizards, hell dude. yeah. And them bitches look like they glue up and everything, like. Dog, them bitches trash, dog. I got a funny story about some Jays, dog. I was too old, and I should have known. I should have known way better than this, nigga. But I ordered some. I ordered some Jays online, nigga. Oh shit, they were forty five dollars. No, hundred. But it was some, it was some thirteens, the, the hologram oh, and shit, shit, red and black. So I ordered these bitches. Now I'm stupid for ordering the bitches, but I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. The bitches come in with in a blue and white Air Jordan box, nigga, blue and white, nigga. The tongue is this big, nigga. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like these niggas built this bitch, nigga. The, the bottom of that bitch like cardboard, nigga. I wore that shit over here just so he could laugh at me, dog. But when, like, when you a sneakerhead though, you definitely got that at one point. Man. Nigga, I definitely, I, I ordered a pack. They sent me the real. They sent me the real sevens, the real Olympic sevens. The he got uh, the love of the game sevens. Yeah. The other shits was fraudulent as a <laughs> motherfucker. And I want to say, matter of fact, they was. Uh, what's the other ones that come in that motherfucker? I remember I got my baby mama some uh, the, the little package deal. That's when I was doing a package deal for like yeah, three hundred yeah. or some shit, four hundred. I forgot the other ones that came with Damn, the Damn, which dog. ones that came in that motherfucker? I think it was. It, it's a white black I don't even remember because I was so pissed off, bro. I threw them bitches out the window. Dog. Hey, nigga, speaking of throwing out the window, I was mad as fuck last night. Nigga, this is way off the subject, nigga. I threw, nigga, I got, I went to um, three Baskin Robbins, nigga. Mm -hmm. Last night, I had, I was craving a motherfucking milkshake. Don't go there. Nigga, so I went there, nigga. My girl, she wants some 7-Eleven. She pregnant, so you know she wants some crazy mm -hmm. shit whenever. So she wants a, 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 a slushy. So her and my baby get a slushy and shit, dog. So I'm like, I'm about to go to 31 Flavors, nigga. So I'm in that bitch, nigga. So I'm like, yeah, let me get a uh, motherfucking um, a medium Oreo milkshake. So then I'm like, let me get these two donuts for her. So I get to the window. She's like, you want a large? I said, no, a medium. So it's only a dollar. So she made me get a fucking large yeah, milkshake. So then she give me this bitch. Nigga, I got a cup of milk, nigga. This bitch ain't no <laughs> stiffness in this Shit, bitch. watery as hell. I'm mad as fuck. So my girl, like, I got pissed. Because I'm about to go around and cuss them out. So I got pissed. We can go back, nigga. So I'm in that bitch, nigga. I take a sip of this bitch. Like, dog, this is fucking milk. Nigga, I got so fucking mad. I threw that bitch out the window. <laughs> Nigga, I had attitude about some fucking milkshake, nigga. <laughs> yeah, she, she would have had to catch that motherfucker. Nigga, she she knew I was so mad. She cashed at me a seven dollars back, dog. Oh shit! I'm in that bitch. I'm like, I threw that bitch, nigga. Like, you know how you got that gay wave? You said, nigga, I threw that bitch, bitch gay as hell. Like, uh. <laughs> I said, uh, too. Like, uh. I, I want you to know I'm mad, nigga. I'm mad. <laughs> Hell no. That bitch exploded. Nigga. I didn't know who was behind me. Nigga. This shit's still on your car. Dog, I, <laughs> nigga, I was mad as fuck, bro. <laughs> mad as hell. Nigga, that shit, that's way off subject. But I, nigga, I'm still pissed about that shit. I still call your ass. Like, nigga, you you got to. That's another thing my girl taught me recently. Call me. corporate, nigga. Yeah. On everything. Like, oh, no. my girl anything me how fucked you, up, go ahead and call corporate, bro. My girl told me how you be, how be a thug through emails, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Nigga, you got to, nigga. You got a wordy ass email. email get you all kind of shit. Hell yeah, nigga. You got to, nigga. You got to cuss these niggas out, but cuss these niggas out as a white person, nigga. Like, They'll do it to you. I have to write my old emails out because my shit be like, nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. She, <laughs> she is, take she... fuck you out and put, I am so frustrated. I am so much. <laughs> hey, this nigga right here is the classic nigga, dog. This nigga be a hood as nigga. On the phone, nigga, hear that nigga, that nigga put that interview voice on. Hello. How are you? <laughs> 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 nigga, I'm that bitch nigga get hood. So with this shit, like with the whole mistake, you got eight songs and shit, dog. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel like that's the new wave is, is like putting out like Short shit and, and opposed to like when you see anything over fifteen songs, you kind of like nigga. I ain't listening. I ain't gonna to all make it to all fifteen. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm listen to it one time. I'm gonna pick all the songs out that I like. Yeah, and then I'm gonna listen to the songs over playlist. and over. Yeah, yeah. Because it's too. First of all, it's too many artists. Secondly, it's, those are too many fucking songs. Mm -hmm. And it's like if I gotta listen to all this shit, I'm gonna end up listening to you all day, bro. I'm not even a car. <laughs> I'm not even in the car for that long. No, not that, I'm not in the car for that long, dog. Yeah, so that's why if you listen to this shit. I ain't gonna say if. When y'all listen to the shit, the songs ain't that long and the tape ain't that long. Yeah. Be expecting a deluxe sometime soon. For sure. So it's gonna be more songs on there, but you already gonna have the, the eight that songs. Shit out the way. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you can go ahead and be like, bet. I heard. Or, yeah, for the new, the new nigga, he can listen to all that shit. For the old nigga, be like, all right, bet. I mean, listen, yeah, listen to yeah. however many songs you put out. Hell yeah, because it's still on the floor. Now, how you feel about features? Because I see you ain't got one feature and shit. I wanna do more features, but it, it's so much into it, especially in a time like this. Yeah. Like, it's, it's, I got to try to meet up with you or 
I want you to be on the same vibe I'm on, like, because yeah. if I ain't even tell y'all, like, what it's on the flow means or whatever, like, how the fuck we gonna do a song together? Yeah, you sure. might come on some singing shit, and we ain't, we ain't <laughs> need that right now. Yeah, so, like, when you when you work with somebody, do you you want to be in the studio with them niggas? I would prefer that. Yeah, so y'all could just so go we ahead. can vibe out. You know what I'm saying? Then you could be like, dog, hold on, I ain't even talking about that shit. Like, nigga, you talking about hoes? I'm talking about motherfucking my mama, nigga. Like, yeah, like, but a lot <laughs> of times though, on the times I have did features. I want you to send me what you gonna like if it's my feature, like if I want you on a song with me, I want you to just go ahead I'm gonna send you the beat. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you gonna do on that motherfucker. Yeah. And when you send it back, I'll fill in where I need to fill in there. For sure, hell yeah. So that way it's a cohesive song. I don't wanna send you a verse and then yo shit ain't got nothing to do with what my shit, man. We gotta scrap the whole fucking song. <laughs> so we ain't even gonna waste hell yeah. that. Or you gotta go ahead back, hold on, cause like have you have you ever had a time that you had to rewrite your shit? Cause you like dog, this nigga probably like coming a little too hard at me? No. Nah. Okay, I ain't gonna even do that. I wonder how I, Jay, I, I be wondering how Jay Z felt on Renegade with, with Eminem and shit. I feel like a nigga like Jay Z ain't gonna give a fuck. Yeah, just for just like cause I don't give a fuck. If you went harder than me on the song, this song still gonna be hard. That's like that motherfucker. What's that shit with Big Sean dog? That caused the, uh, that caused that kind control. Of yeah, when nigga Kendrick went crazy. Like I don't I said, see why niggas was mad at that nigga. He just challenged niggas. I don't see why niggas was mad. At I would have been tight. That's the only know. verse I would have been tight about. Like yeah, I would have been pissed know. off. Like bro, really, you had to do this shit on my song. Oh, I, see, I ain't talking about Big Sean. I understand Big Sean get mad. I'm talking about the other nigga. But I don't, I don't even think Big Sean was mad until like, niggas tried to like. That's like a nigga it. keep telling you like, bro, that nigga crossed you. Like, all right, yeah, he got over on me. Yeah. Bro, no, he crossed the fuck out of you. <laughs> like, all right, bro, he got me. Hey, no, bro, he made you no, fall, he nigga. You like, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. After a while, you gonna be like, you gonna get pissed off. Yeah, you're and that's right. just like when you got into a fight with somebody in school yeah. and you about to whoop another nigga ass, and they be like, you ain't do Sean like that. Like, <laughs> the shit, like, the shit gonna piss you off. <laughs> Ass for no you, you gotta yeah. go back and swing oh, on this I, I nigga for no part reason. Two with this nigga, dog. Fuck this, dog. Damn. Have you ever been? Shit, man. We. This is what you happen when you come to my show. You get all type of questions. Like, hey, I'm. I'm on y'all time, bro. We can go for as long as you, you need to. You ever feel like nigga? You like, dog? I need that rematch. All the time. Like, I'm one of those niggas, like, cause I'm not no, I'm not no fighting ass nigga. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I can't use these bitches, but I ain't no fighting ass nigga. Yeah. So if I do get to a point with you that we gotta fight, every time you see me, bro, you might as well square up. <laughs> It ain't no win. It, it ain't, ain't like I don't like you. I hate you at this point, bro. Because why the fuck why, why do I even have to fight? Especially at this age, nigga. Like at this age, what the fuck are we fighting for, bro? Like, that nigga said every time. Bro. Every bro, we could be in church at a funeral. Duh. We gonna have to scrap. Like you might as well come outside and roll your sleeves up, nigga. Because it's about to be one of them. Take that motherfucker. What we just said. The uh, Jay Z had the motherfucker. What's that? Oh, the cuff plates. Might as well, yeah. Take the you might as well put them bitches in your pocket. All right, dog. Like I ain't gonna lie, dog. Like. I, I told my girl, me and my girl had this conversation. We was in um Walmart, dog, and this nigga was just looking stupid and shit. Like he was, I don't know. He's looked at, he looked, he kind of looked crazy because I I was parking that spot. I guess he thought he put parking that spot. So I'm like, damn, man, my whole life I probably got like two three fights, nigga. Like yeah. I don't know if I throw these hands, nigga, I might get knocked out, nigga. <laughs> Like, you, had, you, had, <laughs> you ain't, I ain't had no practice. You can't, you can't go into Oh, that. let me tell you something. You can't. You know I right, hoop, and The hooping, fact that you know that. No, listen. Make nigga, sure you swing first yeah. and hard than the motherfucker. Don't stop hooping, swinging. When you hooping, nigga, we talking about hooping, nigga. Yeah. And, uh, you ain't took a jump shot in 10 years. You ain't coming that bitch shooting like Steph. That's different, though. <laughs> Fight, <laughs> fighting is more like riding a bike. You ain't gonna get on the bike and just fall over. Yeah, true, true. When you true. get on that bitch and put them bitches on the pedal, you <laughs> gone. You feel me? So, when shit, you gotta I'm feel like, the same way about I the fight. Her, I'm like, damn, last time I got to a fight was ninth grade. I wonder, do I still got it? Hey, I'm one of my cousins. Just, matter of fact, Eastside Gator, he on the tape. Yeah. That nigga just told me, bro, I just had to knock a nigga out at the store. I'm like, why, bro? Why would you do that? Yeah. I had to make sure these bitches still work. Duh. Like, so every now and again, bro, just shit, go in the bathroom by yourself and shadow box. You right. Yeah. You got to keep your shit up and no, tight. No, you do. Because like, my, my stepbrother be bossing nigga. I'm about to go in that bitch and just Hey, work out with that nigga, dog. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It ain't. It ain't the fact that you want to use it, but you want to have that yeah. shit just, just in case. Hell yeah. You gon' you gonna get underestimated for sure. Like, Hell yeah. <laughs> nigga. Bad, and that's what I'm saying. Niggas is busting out this bitch. So like, yeah. so it really ain't no fighting for real. It bro. really ain't no. Like I said, bro. At this age, what the fuck are we fighting for, duh, bro? Duh. I'm only fighting you if I if I fuck with you. Yeah. For real, for real. We a family member, but you didn't disrespect me or some shit. Yeah. Like a cousin. Yeah, we might have to put the gloves on. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Or if you my homeboy and some shit that got sideways, then we might have to square up. Hell but yeah. if you a nigga on the street, I don't even think you gonna fight me. Yeah. So, man. And then, like I said, we we short nigga. So yeah, you gon' you go you gonna take that shit personal, nigga. Just I'm taking cut. shit. I'm bro, I'm I'm one of them niggas that like I said when I come in the room, I try to make sure it's love with everybody. <laughs> yeah. So when the times I do feel disrespected, bro, everybody gonna know like. Oh yeah, this nigga on some other shit. Dog, 
Nigga, last time I got to a fight, nigga, was this nigga named Lionel Sanders, nigga. He still know this nigga name. Right. This Dog. is crazy. <laughs> and I know, we, he got to a fight. He going to square with you in Walmart. Nah, I call a nigga, I call his nigga Colonel Sanders. You know, motherfuckers like KFC and shit, dog. I kept calling nigga Colonel, nigga, like every day, nigga. And nigga was like, dog, like, nigga, stop saying that shit. I'm like, nigga, fuck you, Colonel. Oh, shit. So nigga's like, nigga, yo, grandma, nigga, fuck your grandma. Oh, yeah, it's time to square up. So I'm like, nigga, I'm like, all right, bet, nigga, bet. Fuck my grandma, okay, bet. So we went inside Mr. Uh, what's his name, nigga? Mr. Anderson class. Mr. Anderson, caca as fuck, dog. <laughs> We a bustle, nigga. Like, this is my last fight, nigga. My last real fight. So, nigga, everybody, they hype because they know a fight about to happen, nigga. So, I got pressure, nigga. Like, damn, this there's some pressure right now because niggas know it's about to happen. That's the worst fight to so get So, I in. can't lose, nigga. Right. And this nigga taller than me, nigga. So, I go in that bitch. I grab nigga by his collar, nigga. Bring that nigga to my level, nigga. Oh and whooped his God. ass, nigga. I felt good as fuck by myself, nigga. I got suspended. I didn't give a fuck. I just want niggas to know, like, this is the best way to get shot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you gonna see Curtis, gonna don't. Be on Instagram. At. at Duh. In this day and age, bro, don't ever let a nigga know you want to fight him. Yeah. Just go ahead and swing, bro. If it's Duh. that deep, just no, go ahead and swing. Let me know he wanted to fight me, nigga. That's what I'm saying. So you should have just swung on his but ass. I, I said, nigga, one thing I'm not going to do. I'm not going to fight this nigga in the bathroom because there's too many things I get knocked. My, my, nigga, you can get, nigga, you can be pissing in your head, nigga. Bam. Nigga, you can motherfucking, nigga, it's too much shit in that bathroom. You gotta know, get nigga. knocked into the sink and be Hell on the yeah. floor. Nigga. Until I was in high school, nigga, I was it's on the floor. Uh, yeah, on the floor, nigga. <laughs> hey, I don't think about nigga when you at the war farm, nigga. If you got beef with somebody, nigga, that's the wrong spot to be. Now you right here, nigga, sipping that war, nigga, and nigga. Slap your, your shit right into bitch, that nigga. motherfucker. Nigga, you on the but floor, see, nigga. I'm one of them niggas. I'm one of them niggas that, like I said, when I get to that point, I'm, I'm on tip. Duh. So if you say you want to fight me and you go into the bathroom, I'm gonna let you go in that bitch first. I'm gonna let you pull your pants down and think you about to start pissing, <laughs> and I'm gonna swing on your ass. You feel me, like? That's what I mean, but like when I say like you never let a person know that you want to fight them or that you got a certain dislike for them in this day and age, niggas ain't fighting because of that pressure that you was yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. When niggas know everybody want to see us fight, I can't lose. Yeah. So if I think I'm about to lose, I'm shooting, bro. We ain't about to, <laughs> nigga ain't about to world star me. Hell yeah, world star was a, that was the scariest thing. Nigga get to a fight, nigga, nigga screaming put you out on world, bro. If a nigga put you on world, everybody gotta die, and that's in the vicinity. <laughs> if you really think about it, bro, cause you don't know who got their phone. Yeah. You don't know who the fuck screaming world star. No. Like, you're like, <laughs> that shit is more scary than a nigga just pulling the gun. This camera roll, nigga. We get to it, nigga. You fight for your nigga. You fight, you fight for, for everything, bro. We didn't even fight. You ain't gonna have respect no more. Not gonna be tired. That's the nigga I did that be there on in the interview. Like, no, bro, no. come on, nigga, bro. Nigga, I said the wrong shit. We didn't even touch with nigga sweat, nigga. Hey, nigga, camera roll. We gotta make. We gotta make this. Gotta be fight. a good one. <laughs> this gotta be a good one, nigga. <laughs> nigga fight for the death, hey, nigga. Hey, nigga. You nigga, gotta think about it. Niggas' nigga, careers no, nigga. have ended over Duh. fights, Cause my nigga. nigga. Oh, you get the best of me, nigga. Let me go ahead and get back so I can say, nigga, that was a draw. All right, nigga, well, shit, nigga. We was talking about your mistake, dog. Do you ever, like, watch what you say? Could you be, like, afraid to offend somebody? I ain't gonna say I haven't in the past, yeah. but on this tape, I didn't. I ain't give a fuck. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. This the first tape, like, majority of that shit, I ain't right. Yeah. And that's why on the last song it's called I Ain't Trying. Like, yeah. I literally was in the garage yeah. just rapping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I fucked that right there. I go back, do it over. And then so, I took it to the studio and just did the same shit. Oh, so you um you just go ahead and just like get your shit out the way at the crib just to see how it sounds? Yeah, because I, I bought a laptop got, and I bought a mic. Yeah. But I ain't really like the program that I got on my laptop. So I ain't going to record the whole tape on there. I did it the first time. Like, when the first time I came here, remember I had recorded that whole thing yeah. because of, all the studios was closing down. Yeah, hell yeah. I just wanted to put out some music. With this, I took all them rough drafts that I had on my computer and took them bitches to the studio and redid them. Okay. So that way I already got a flow. I already know what I want to say. I just ain't writing it in my phone or on no yeah. paper. Hell yeah, because I, I used to do that shit on my phone. Like, I record it from another phone see how it sound with the beat and shit like that. Yeah. Then I keep going. Like, Because my thing is, like, even with this podcast, dog, it'd be a lot of times that this nigga got to cut me out and got to go ahead and edit that bitch out because I said some shit that I shouldn't have said, dog. Right. You, do you be careful? Like, nigga, I might say this. I might say something. Some some shit like nigga, I know like I was listening to my ad lib nigga like on the last one nigga I said some shit like fag like shit like that right. like and you gotta be worried about nigga saying some shit or you just don't give a fuck like it is what it is. If I said it, I I stand on it. If I if I let the shit stay to the fact that it's on the tape, yeah, I fucked with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And shit on this tape, like I, I said it all through the tape, <laughs> bro. This ain't no cap. This shit is all fact. This is how I'm living right now. Yeah. Nigga, that shit crazy because like I said everything I rapped on this bitch, nigga, is, is is true. Like on my intro, nigga, I'm talking about like how I was thinking about making a strictly Detroit type mistake. Yeah. But then I'm like, nigga, fuck that, nigga. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing, and what yeah. I'm comfortable with. Cause now I gotta change my whole flow. I gotta change how what I talk about. And might be lying to y'all niggas because I really don't know a lot of that shit. Yeah. Just to make some motherfucking niggas like this shit. Yeah, but
E7 mile. You feel me? I yeah, pulled up. Said, nigga said 4205. Yeah, said, like I, I pulled up on that nigga. He told me it was some females around. They they choosing. Yeah. This, this shit was all fact. You <laughs> know what I'm yeah. saying? Hell yeah, for sure. You got the one shit, the one song, Steve Harvey. Yeah. You already know we think about Steve Harvey, we think about that clean lineup. That clean nigga. ass lineup. And every time you see me, my shit, my waves is on point. I'm kind of jealous. Nigga. <laughs> I ain't got no hair under this hat, nigga. Like, like, I'm just saying, bro. It's the facts. And then, like I said, that song right there, I feel like niggas gonna sleep on it, but then, like, like I said, niggas know about the Steve Harvey shit, but even like the little bars in there. Yeah. Fucked her first some hours, had her think I popped in a Cedron. Niggas don't even know what the fuck a Cedron is, but yeah. if you watch them commercials, a nigga on there smiling super hard, yeah. and his wife, now his wife happy, they smiling, and this nigga popped in a Cedron. <laughs> but I tell a motherfucker, all right, you think that's funny, I'm going to pull up like I'm Seti. Yeah. And that's Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, hell like, yeah, you get yeah, what I'm saying? Because like, the beat was calling his ass Seti. Seti. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I know, nigga shit, I'm with you, dog. I'm just saying that for niggas that don't think yeah. niggas still got wordplay, because I ain't even. Really trying on that shit, but at the same time, it's just how y'all yeah. see it the way I talk in the regular, yeah, it's regular tone. The, I see if niggas gonna shit. catch on to it real quick. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. But yeah, that shit, like, I try to watch what I say, but at the end of the day, I, I really don't be giving a damn. Yeah. Like, even when it comes to the podcast shit, like, then I think about it, like, hold on, cuz I shouldn't have said that. But well, that's the thing. Podcast you can't, you can't think though. about it, though. Yeah. The moment you think about it, that's when you start thinking, oh, damn, this person gonna get offended. Yeah. This, but if you saying some shit, nigga, that shit came from your heart. The shit yeah. that you don't write, that shit comes directly from your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shit yeah. that you write come from your brain. You gotta think about, damn, bro. If I say this shit, my mama might hear this shit. Man, <laughs> hey, we nah, grown, bro. Dog, this some shit, like nigga, like I was thinking about, like nigga, to be an actor, nigga, like I don't know if you could turn down roles and be like, damn, am I? Will I get another role? I say it to say this. You got the shot. You ever watch the show, the shot? Mm-hmm. Anybody? All right, the shot, nigga. Season three, it's been two episodes in. You got a transgender on the show, mm-hmm. and then my man from um who played Johnny Gill, I think his name is Luke James. Mm-hmm. I gotta commend him, nigga. Like he gotta be a good ass actor because you on the on the show, and I guess his girlfriend is a transgender, mm-hmm. and it's like nigga, like the shit. I didn't realize it until the second episode, dog. That it was a transgender? Yeah, I'm like, damn, the motherfucking cheekbones a little hard. Like, like for real, like, real talk. It's, I'm like, damn, it's got to be a transgender. Right. So I looked at it and said, you know, I was right. So then I looked at the other dude, uh, the dude, Reg, who got killed off. Mm-hmm. It was a rumor. He said it wasn't true, but it was a rumor that he got killed off because he turned down playing that role of being in love with a transgender. Okay. So, like, how, how do you feel about niggas who play those roles? Like, how tough is that if you... You know what I'm saying? Like, you after a nigga, like, and they tell you, like, cuz, like, buddy, dog, like, you gotta be in love with a transgender. You know, at the end of the day, you in love with women. What you into, yeah. But the people gonna be like, nigga, damn, this nigga, this nigga, buddy. All I'm gonna say, else. like, you, you got, you got motherfuckers that sign up for that type of work. Yeah. And, and that, that's the type, they so deep into the love with the art of being an actor that they don't, that they don't they care. They like that. And you gotta think about all your greatest actors and play the gay role. Whether it's Will Smith, that, Will Smith or all that, of separation, yeah. Bro. But oh, you won't see Buddy in one of them motherfuckers. I'm just saying that. To, yeah. I'm just saying that because I'm not. I'm not that in love with the art. I do yeah. a song with a transgender yeah. person because I'm yeah. into the art of music. Yeah. I'm not into acting right now at the point to say like, yeah, I do that shit regardless of what a nigga say. I, yeah, I'm, that's, like, not that's not me. Yeah, that's not nothing you got passionate about that much. Like at all. Yeah. But I also want motherfuckers to stop stop judging people because they do. Because when it come down to it. Transgender people are just their people at the yeah, end of the day. Yeah. Like this is no cap. And this is how I know I said what I'm saying. I just hung out with a transgender person shit. What two weeks ago? Yeah. My my girl, one of her one of her siblings is transgender. Okay. One of the coolest motherfuckers I ever hung out with. And I yeah. never would have knew if I had such a bias. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, oh, you let them rock how they rock and shit. Dog, they the funny people. Thing about it, nigga, me and this nigga all well, shit, all three was we are related. Nigga, our uncle was gay. Okay. He got rest his soul, dog. My uncle, dog. He got he he used to have nigga parties, nigga. Like we stayed in the in the apartment building. It was only four fucking apartments in this bitch, dog. Yeah. Me and my mom stay downstairs, nigga. She be like, I might go upstairs and uh to to my to you know saying Uncle Junior shit, dog. Yeah. Shit, it's some good food. Let's go up there, nigga. Nigga, that's how I know my uncle was a thug, dog. <laughs> like you wouldn't know he was getting taped unless he tell you. Right. Nigga, he got this one dude was looking at me a little too much. Nigga, he checked that nigga with the quickness, like, cuz, like, dog, don't, nigga. They say this ain't that. Yeah, nigga, like, don't fuck around, bro. Like, nigga, I would kill that's you, That's what nigga. I'm saying. Like, they regular people, bro. They have good times just like everybody else have good times. Like, at the end of the day, dog, you got to know, if you, if, nigga, I, I, I haven't had gay parties in my crib because my mom didn't. <laughs> it's a funny story, dog. My mom let my uh, my uncle have a, a party in his crib, mm-hmm. at our crib. Yeah. So, of course, nigga, I know what's going on. My mom sent me to my grandma's crib for the night. Right. Me and my little brother, me and this nigga. So dog, before I leave out, <laughs> before I leave out, dog, I see a cake. <laughs> the cake is a dude. He laughing because he know it. My uncle got this cake, dog, and it's a dude with a speedo next to a sheet. 
<laughs> so my mama like, I know what I know what time it is, dog. So I'm out. And man, we got some nasty ass little seizures that night, dog. High rate was <laughs> terrible. So nigga, but I just knew I I've been around it, dog. I know I got people that's gay on my mom's side, on my dad's side. But at the end of the day, nigga, are you you gotta be comfortable with yourself, like nigga, to know like but that be the problem. Niggas don't really I'm be comfortable, comfortable, bro. Yeah. I know I love women. Niggas don't be comfortable. Nigga, I love dark skinned women, light skinned women, brown skinned women, nigga. Yeah, I love. I don't know mama. if I love tall women. I love tall women too, and I'm short as hell. <laughs> but I love women, so at the end of the day, what you do, I don't give a damn. If you happy with that shit, nigga, yeah, do you? That ain't for me to. That ain't for me to be upset about yeah. to, to judge you. None of that shit. I just asked, like I just said at the beginning of the show. Respect me how I respect you. Exactly. Yeah. Hell yeah. And know what, nigga? Know where I'm coming from. And, and like, dog, you, you should know from a person. I mean, I, I, I guess like you can't really say that, dog, because there's so many people that's downloaded. They don't want to even. That's what I'm they, saying. They were front like they. But that's the problem because niggas ain't comfortable coming out saying the niggas ain't comfortable because we really don't leave no room for people to really be comfortable. Even though it's been more acceptable now yeah. than ever, yeah. it still ain't no room for a nigga that you knew your whole life to come out and be like, yeah, this my boyfriend. Yeah. Like, the shit ain't comfortable. Yeah. And that's why I'm glad we talking about this on this show because I want to give a big shout out to Tez Honcho, bro. We about that. Tez just came out. I'm I'm proud of Doug. Yeah, because he I mean, he you put got, a lot up in in the air and a lot in in jeopardy, not knowing what people how people was gonna receive him or treat him. Yeah, and you gotta be, but at the end of the day, like, cause you don't wanna hide this shit and then be thinking like, you know, see you and fuck that, you gotta, you gotta be your yourself. Real, yeah, you gotta be, you gotta let people know who is you, like, cause if if that if this is what you are gonna do, you got you gotta. <laughs> Let people know so they can accept you. Yeah. Because you and, ain't going to never know. That, and that I you. never thought about how hard that would possibly be for a person to come out or what they mentally. Like, I go to a whole lot of Tez events. I hang, I hang out with Tez. He did my photo shoot for the album, matter of fact. Yeah. Like, that's we cool like that. Yeah. Never knew. Yeah. Never never would even suspected this shit. Yeah. But my whole brand is be you, don't doubt you. I can't, I can't say that. And then when he say... What he got going on? Yeah. Oh, bro, I can't fuck with you. Matter of fact, I ain't even using this picture. Yeah. Hey, fuck that, Taylor. Yeah. What we doing? Uh, yeah. I got another album about to come up. Yeah. I told nigga come on show, nigga. Like, dog, I don't give a fuck. Cause in the, the day, I know where I am. I know, I know where, where I am. I, am bro. I know me. That's hard. I know me. I know me. So I'm not. And I've been around gay people, nigga. I've been at a party, nigga. Like this nigga know we be at parties, nigga. I don't even want to keep talking about this shit because I don't want to be that nigga that be like, I got a gay friend too. Like, no. this shit don't, it, I don't really care that much. So you feel me? That's I almost like a white yeah, person. Like, like, I like, I like black, black people. Friend. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah. But at the end of the day, though, I don't give a fuck who you, as long as you cool. Yeah. And as long as you know, don't holler at me. Yeah. I like, hey, like I said, <laughs> yeah. respect, my, respect yeah. my space. I got I'm white, though. Like, you, I'm good, though. Like, yeah. like Charlamagne said, Charlamagne, uh, who, who, who likes Charlamagne, dog? It's, um, my man, Don Donnell Rollins. Yeah, nigga. his brother. His brother loves Charlemagne, nigga. And Charlemagne, I'd be like, cuz, tell nigga, I say, what up? Like, like I don't give a fuck. It don't matter. Put nigga a t shirt, cuz. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he said, nigga, if I got the, uh, if, 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 if I got gay people, I get me, cuz, I made it, nigga. Like, I'm good. Like, I ain't tripping. Hey, they still listen to music. They still buy that merch. Nigga be, that nigga, Donnell Rollins, like, yeah, my cousin, my brother asked about you. He be like, what up? Tell nigga, I say, what up, dog? Man, if, if, then this game for niggas that, that's comfortable with your sexuality, that you don't care enough about if a person around you gay or not. Matter of fact, give you some gay homies. Yeah. First of all, they're going to be up on their business. <laughs> Second of all, they're going to keep some bad women around. I'm just going to be 100 with y'all. You know somebody. I'm just, you know I'm being 100. I got my step. You know somebody for real, nigga. My, my stepbrother is, is, is gay. Yeah. And that's why I said I didn't want to keep going with this shit because oh, yeah, I don't want to be like, I know all these. I, no, he's, good, shit, he's gay. Yeah. He had a birthday party when I say this is the the prettiest women I ever seen in my yeah. life was in this section with this nigga yeah. having a good time. You get what I'm saying? All right, let me ask you this, dog. I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to be funny with the shit and all that stuff, but like, all right, you say you accept it and stuff like that. Like, but would you accept, like, People close to you, kids, brothers, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Would you accept it then? Yeah. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I, Even I, God I'll forbid, you, I'll be lying if, to you if I say I'll be upset if he told me this is my brother, my brother, brother, mom and dad. Yeah, why would you I, use dog? Okay, he ain't, but like, like no, he. I know he not, but like I'll be a little, a little upset. Right. This, I ain't. I would be more. I would be more. How old upset. are you, bro? Twenty seven. All right. I I would be more. Offended that you waited 27 years to tell me this shit, and it's I'm true. your brother. Yeah. That's why, dog, my, my son, I forgot what I seen, but I'm like, let me talk to him. Like, dog, like, listen, if it's anything you feel uncomfortable, tell me right fucking now. Yeah. Don't sit here and wait till later thinking I'm gonna fucking uh, uh, abandon you or but something. But that's why like you that. gotta keep, you, you gotta keep that open yeah, avenue. Yeah, 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 you got like, to, dog. Because a lot of times people shut their kids down Cause of course on so at, much at shit. The young me, I'll be saying, oh, I won't have to do with my son. I'm, I can admit to that. At 20 years old, 21, I had my son at 20. I ain't gonna lie. 
the young me would be my, like, my son, we gonna be locked in forever. I'm yeah. definitely gonna be roasting your ass. <laughs> that's just me though. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just me. And For if real. you if you can't fuck with that, then obviously you ain't fuck with your dad in the first because I was roasting you before yeah. you ever told me this shit. You get what no, I'm saying? Like, For sure. you my son. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm go ahead and clown you, nigga. Cause like, niggas gonna clown you in the street. Yeah, I mean, we might as well get you, it first you, at the you crib. You, you, you comfortable like, now? Hey, you cracking jokes on that nigga? Like, cause who 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 cutting the turkey? Cause you feel me? Like. Cause whoever cutting turkey is the man, nigga. Like, <laughs> you ain't for real, nigga. Like straight up, dog. That's yeah, the, hey, that, that, that's some responsibility. Who cut that turkey, nigga? <laughs> that first one could slice, nigga. That means you the man for real. The whole family, nigga. Like you that nigga, nigga. You cut the turkey. Y'all been watching uh, Fresh Prince, nigga. Uncle Phil nigga cut that turkey. Mad nigga. about that motherfucker. It wasn't Carlton, nigga. Fresh the Prince, nigga. Uncle Phil cut that turkey, nigga. So that means guess what, nigga? What Uncle Phil say is law. Nigga, you law, nigga. So that's funny as shit. Nigga, make sure, nigga, you law, cause like if you ain't. So law, I'm gonna remember that. <laughs> so we never see pictures of yo Thanksgiving <laughs> and your wife cutting the turkey. Hey, she law, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> cause nigga, I'm gonna cut that bitch right for me, like, cause, all right, bet. Big ass dumb <laughs> 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 nigga, fuck, I ain't cut. I'm just tearing them off fucking legs off, nigga. Like, <laughs> Hell no. No, now nah, we like we talking about uh, your shit still. Like, how do you go about your writing process and picking beats, like? Do you gotta have a beat before you write? Do you write before you pick the beat? Like, how do it go? It varies. Yeah. Like I said on this tape, I did it. I ain't really do that much writing. I probably had shit in my phone, like yeah. maybe four lines, and I'm yeah. like, all right, I'm gonna use this shit, and I just find a beat. Yeah. And then I just freestyle the rest of this shit. But nah, nigga, I can't do that. Like, I can't because that shit gonna be trash. I gotta like, let you know everything I wrote, nigga, has been written. You don't be like sometimes you go in the studio and do that shit like it just like might sound stupid or something or like. It be on point that you've been doing so much. I literally go in the studio by myself for that reason. Yeah. Because I'm going to... Making music is like a fucking puzzle. Like, yeah. I'm going to make a way for this piece to fit right here. Yeah, like, yeah, if I got to sure. change the way I say it or whatever. Because yeah. the minute I try to throw off, throw away what the fuck ever I wrote down or what I thought I was going to sound, yeah. then that's when I fuck it up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, like, is the right person you work with as far as engineers, do that count? That matter. Hell yeah. Because like I said... I went to record with my nigga, uh, his homeboy crib, but it just didn't feel the same as when I fuck with my nigga POG. Yeah, that, that's just like, uh, um, like now they sell them, they sell templates. So like, you want your shit to sound like Tory Lanez, they got a template for that. Yeah. And they just load up the template, your voice gonna sound like this. Yeah. That's how I feel when you work with your engineer. This nigga already know how you want your shit to sound. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my dog Bless. He uh, he did the engineer for the last song on the project. Okay. The uh, I had start work with a new engineer. It's uh, North Sounds. Yeah. Audio. Okay. My dog, you know, he got the studio, whatever. He he made my shit sound good, but we recorded so many fucking songs. Yeah. That eventually he got where I was trying to go with exactly. the sound. Yeah, you yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Cause like I said, nigga, this nigga who I fuck with, like he gonna tell me like, cause you ain't put no energy on that shit, like, right. nigga. He ain't just taking now, my that's money. That's different. I about to say now that's different. Yeah, cause he ain't just taking my money and saying like, all right, nigga, bet you good. Yeah. He really telling me like, cause nigga, like you gotta say that shit different. Yeah, go back on that shit, take that shit out. And see, like, most most engineers don't do that because niggas they get just offended. Money or uh, yeah, but niggas too. don't niggas that niggas too. don't really know how to approach niggas about that the too. shit. Yeah. I tell my engineer, bro, if I go in here and this shit don't su- turn that shit off, bro, <laughs> and yeah. tell me, bro. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm not about to give you my bread and then my shit just sound ass because you didn't tell me. Like I'd rather it be like. My shit, my bars is trash. You feel yeah, me? But yeah, if it's yeah. on some shit that I feel like you could have stopped me on, yeah, I mumble I mean, right there, nigga. Turn me shit. off, bro. Yeah, if you if you heard me, nigga, say some shit that didn't sound like a fucking word, nigga. Tell me, cause like I'm trying to tell you, nigga, you, you, you heard me get off beat and you kept <laughs> the shit playing, bro. Hell yeah, so that's why I always go to that nigga, cause from day one he tell me like, dog, go ahead and record that shit again. I I think the first time I recorded, it, I was hype. He like, nigga, you wasn't hype enough. All right, that's what I'm saying. Go in that bitch again. Yeah, you might be, but just that yeah. might be better. Than Hell yeah. Price. Yeah. So he'll tell you. Like, I remember one time, nigga, it was, this nigga was there and my nigga POG, who, who be engineering and everything. Nigga, it was one, I I was saying the line, but it was like one word had to take out. Yeah. Like, cause take that that whole word to, word or two out. That's what I'm saying. You need, you need that. Yeah. Criticism is, is needed. It's a must, when you're creating dog, music. But some people can't take it. Some people can't fucking take it, dog. Make sure you making music. Hell yeah. When you put that shit out, yeah. when you put that shit out, even if you just spit your hardest verse, like I know this tape hard, yeah, for a fact. Yeah, I believe every song got his own feelings and it got his own. You can listen all that shit like, oh damn, dog went off. Yeah, but it's gonna be somebody that be like, bro, this shit ain't hard. Yeah, and I'm gonna sure. be, I'm gonna be able to accept that shit. I'm gonna yeah. look myself in the mirror and be like, right, dog said this shit ain't hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And eventually he gonna me, find some shit then, and he gonna, tell, gonna yeah, like tell it. Tell me why it's not hard though. Like, tell me what song. Like I said, it depends on who it is. Because if it's told. if it's not a nigga I respect, I don't really want to yeah. hear why like you. I had my, I had my uh, family, this bitch, easy fresh dog. Like my thing is, nigga, if you fuck with it, don't listen to it one time, nigga. 
Listen to how you a fuck with a fucking Drake album or a J Cole. Like nigga, you gonna listen to that bitch over but and over. But at the same again. time, I I don't look at it like like that for the simple fact that the people closest to you is gonna be the ones that don't support. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Cause like nigga, I played this shit for my relatives, like my cousins, before this shit ever dropped. And this how I know they fucked with me. Yeah. These niggas was playing the shit when I ain't around. Yeah. But I done put out other tapes. Yeah. I don't remember them listening to none of them bitches. <laughs> you feel me? And I get it. You you got to see if a person's serious. The first mm-hmm. tape, you ain't know if I was serious or not. You just, yeah, because put out a tape, bro. That shit was all right. Mm-hmm. But now, nigga, this like the fourth tape in a matter of two years. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Cuz going the fuck off. And then they got a video. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you got to make who, people who believe. Who shot that video? Uh, DBH. Yeah. yeah, DBH. That's what, cold, yeah, though. he cool as a motherfucker. Yeah. Appreciate it. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, but uh, so with this shit, like, nigga, I know you got the overtime mafia and shit. Yeah. Like, I know last time we talked, you said you was trying to build a team. Are you getting any closer to that? Or are you still looking? Um, like I said, this Corona shit slowed up everything. For sure. So, I don't even know if I got to get the camera and shit myself. <laughs> and everything gonna be drone shots, but like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't getting no closer to that other than, like I said, my cousin. And I'm, I'm about to get him to. I'm about to give him the blueprint. I'm about to just set him up to where he can start building his own shit. Yo, I want yo. I want him to start rapping. No. Like literally, I set the I set that's the only song on there that I didn't go to no studio. Them two songs with him on it. Yeah. Set that bitch up in the garage. Yeah. I set I set the tempo with the with the first couple ver, uh, verses or the hook. Yeah. And I let I just let him go. Yeah. This is his first time getting on any song, anything. First time and, rapping ever? Ever. Yeah. On on some studio shit. Like we might sit around and freestyle all the time, but yeah. As far as him just getting on, and he older than me. That's my older cousin. So for him to be, really, that's how the Woozy video got made. Yeah. The nigga heard the song in the car with me, like, cuz, that bitch hard. You need to make a video for that one. That's yeah. the one right there. Yeah. Then the nigga heard the intro, like, bro, when the next tape coming up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, all right, bet. Fuck it. I don't care if the corona going on. I'm, I got to figure this shit out. <laughs> Hell yeah. And you, you, you know, it's a little bit different when it's like an older cousin. Yeah. You get, they give you that extra boost. Yeah, you so know you, what I'm saying? Hype, nigga, like, yeah, like, oh, cuz, that bitch, go, it go. <laughs> Yeah, Hell you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, and that's what it is. Now he looking at me like, cuz, you serious? The nigga, I took him to the photo shoot with me and everything. Yeah. So now he looking at me like, damn, cuz, you serious, bro? How can I do How can I do this shit? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, shit. I'm like, fuck it. We gonna start recording. That's it funny, dog. Cause this nigga just telling me before, nigga, I swear to God, before we came here, he like, dog, you gotta shoot a video. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, I be nervous about doing video shit like... This, this the thing, though. Motherfuckers believe half of the shit you say. Yeah. But they believe everything they see. Yeah, hell yeah. For for example, we don't know if none of these rappers got none of these cars. <laughs> hell yeah. But because we see them in the video, yeah. they theirs in our head. Mm-hmm. So like, and like like we were just talking about when we was younger, niggas had tall tees and shit <laughs> on because it's the shit that you seen. For sure, hell yeah. Everybody like so, that bitch that that's cool. why I'm getting to it. Like now, I'm like, damn, I gotta shoot more visuals. I got to. Yeah. If, if I could, nigga, I would have hired somebody to come here with me. Would have followed me from the nigga, car until I came dope, in. This nigga. Bitch. Like, you got that, nigga. And that's what I'm saying because what matter I'm fact, when I went to uh. Damn, we should do that shit. I went to tell shit, nigga, as far as podcast shit. Nigga, you had the camera shit, that shit been dope. I remember I told y'all that last nigga, time. Shit, yeah. well, we at home. Nigga, we got a movie, nigga, we just shot. I, I need to be in the next one. <laughs> come on, nigga, we got a dog. I'm down for that come type join, of shit. Nigga. Come and join, I, shoot I, a good night, nigga. Hey, I'm down. <laughs> Give me some dog tags for me in this game. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> nigga, buddy on that bitch, nigga. Mm-hmm. For real, dog. But like I said, I'm down. I'm down to build, bro. Yeah. If a motherfucker can sit down and listen to me and, and, and try to get with the vision that I got, yeah, that's what I say. Any, I'm down any, for any that. Two many niggas I bring, a, I bring for part two, nigga. Like you, my nigga, uh, Easy Fresh, my nigga Cheese. Yeah, only niggas that been in the best, nigga. Cause like you got, if you like, damn, this nigga, this nigga funny as fuck. This nigga laying down some gems, like, nigga, yeah. you gotta bring them back, nigga. And like I said, a lot you got some shit, nigga. You got like you got another project, nigga. Shit, so you you being consistent. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna come back every time I got some shit that I'm working on, or like I said. Just some shit that I want to push. Hopefully, like I said, I get my cousin up and running. I'm gonna bring him through this bitch, and yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna I mean, tell y'all now, nah, nigga, it's turn. And, and nigga, hell yeah, nigga, shit, cause like, we talk about whatever. And you know, you on the best podcast in the city, nigga. So it's like, nigga, what I the fuck, fuck with this podcast. <laughs> I second that. Like, nigga, cause like, dog, I. Just and look. if anybody else gonna challenge it, have me all on, have dog. me on your podcast yeah, so we can find nigga, out. Yeah, let this nigga come on, dog. Cause my nigga came on this bitch, dog. My nigga, uh, uh, damn. What's that nigga name? Damn, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing on this fucking effing dog. <laughs> Four GT. That nigga came in this bitch, dog. And he was like, nigga, it's crazy. This nigga stay on the street from Elk and them. I didn't even realize that shit. But he said that shit like a lot of niggas is charging niggas to come on their podcast. Nigga, I'm, the, about, I'm not about to charge you to talk about your shit, bro. That's stupid. About that, about they yeah, yeah, like, yeah nigga, but the crazy part is, and I respect it. If you would have told me, like, bro, you coming, you got to throw me 50. 
I would have threw the 50. Because yeah. at the same time, this is promotion for my shit. I ain't going to do that Niggas shit. don't look at it like that, but it's the case. Now, listen, even if I'm big, I, I still can't see me charging. But this is why niggas going to fuck with you regardless. Because at the same time, you building your brand and you helping them. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, you're not about to charge me. Yeah. And I got more of a following than you. I should have been charging you to show up to this bitch. Nigga. You feel me? Like, Somebody asked me, come on, they should they had 140. I'm like, nigga, I'm at 250. What the fuck am I gaining, nigga? But I also, like <laughs> I said, and, it, and this is just me. And this is game for, for niggas that's trying to build up their shit. And I ain't saying my shit just popping like that. Yeah. It's everything is content. But for sure. So yeah, if yeah. I if I pay, you know, I tell niggas one thing though. If I and I just ain't did it today because I ain't think about it till now. Yeah. If I pay for an interview, I got my own content off of that shit. For, for, sure. the, for example, I came in this bitch and set my phone up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You and can't took say a shit. Clip. And you can't say oh, shit. You feel me? And you can't say shit. You can't say shit. Like no. I paid you to, and this is what I'm here for. Yeah. I'm promoting. Hell yeah. You can't say a goddamn and, and, thing. But that, like I said, and that goes back to like what I, my plans are. Like yeah. I told you all one of my big influence last time was Wiz Khalifa. And I, the reason why I believe nigga, Wiz. Don't say shit. Don't, don't say shit to that nigga. That nigga love Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Nigga. And I'm glad I'm glad he said that and he here. One of the main reasons you start fucking with Wiz because he had that day to day vlog shit, right? Well, look, I fuck with that nigga just like that too, but just like his music and shit. But that's what I'm saying. The that, shit made him look ten times more. I ain't gonna lie, he put me on up. that shit, nigga. What the, the first song I heard from that nigga was Ink My Whole Body. Yeah. I don't because of his nigga. Yeah. Ink My Whole Body and then um what's that shit? The, uh this plane or some shit? What's yeah, that? Yeah, you gonna miss this plane. Yeah, this dog. plane. Dog. But that's what I'm saying. Through all of that. juice is the bump probably one of the the fucking best Yeah that's top 10 Mixtapes nigga tape, ever nigga. Ever yeah One of them He but up there this, this what I'm saying From that time Till now The nigga's been Vlogging Yeah He been having somebody Following him And you watched him grow Yeah so, Hold on But nigga, I'm about to hit, Make this nigga mad Guess who was before that nigga Joe Buttons <laughs> the, the vlogging shit Joe Bell was on YouTube for nigga YouTube was shit cool like His shit wasn't popping though Man Cause I didn't even know <laughs> I ain't even know Joe Bell was on YouTube like he said nigga, He was one of the first niggas no. like Smoking nigga yeah. on camera But Joe Joe Bell was the one of the first niggas on YouTube But he wasn't Alright I'm glad you said that The, di <laughs> the difference is Joe Budden wasn't consistent with that shit Okay When I say whiz From the time From his time yeah. When he came out and had no car These niggas was going on tour out of a minivan yeah. Till when he bought the black and yellow Challenger and went to the studio and recorded the song. Yeah. To now, this nigga in the mansion with his son that's by Amber Rose. And, <laughs> like, bro, we know all this shit yeah. because this shit was documented. It was content. Yeah, where's the truth, though? You grew with a nigga. And yeah. through all of this, he was promoting something. Yeah. So sure. even if you watch the video, you see the nigga with the Taylor Gang gear on. I'm trying to figure out how the fuck can I get one of these beanies. <laughs> something. You get what I'm saying? Change. I hear y'all niggas, Damn. but I'm still fucking my nigga Joe Button, dog. Fuck Joe you I fuck, fuck with Joe, Joe heavy, bro. cause my thing is like, dog, like this nigga, dog, with Mayno. First thing he thought about with Mayno was high hater. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, dog, Mayno could really rap. Mayno could really fucking rap, but niggas just ain't giving mm -hmm. him no chance because guess what? The first song he heard was they high hater. So with, with Joe Buns, niggas, first thing they think about Joe Buns, pump, pump it, it up. up. What's the song they had on motherfucking uh, B2K shit? That that shit. But I'm really listening to Joe Buns like, dog, this nigga really be telling a story. Like this nigga, I fuck with mood music. Yeah, he can really rap. But I'm a nigga that fuck with lyrics. Although yeah. my music may not be all lyrically all yeah. all over the place or just constant wordplay to where the fact that you can't turn up to my shit. Yeah, I fuck with lyrics like yeah. for my personal listen. You okay. know what I'm saying? And every now and again, I'm gonna turn that shit off and be like, this nigga <laughs> making me think too much. <laughs> so that's this nigga, yeah. dog. Hey, I I love. For you made me think, bro. Like that's why I'm like that shit I, cool, but like it's a set, it's a time, it's a time and a place no, for that is. shit. And that's why me and Mel, me and they was just talking. Like he like, dog, fuck with this, the music I'm putting out because I'm giving you, I'm giving you some shit that you. I'm not just thinking about my own preference, dog. Right. I'm thinking about what the niggas want to hear. They want to hear some niggas talking shit. Right. So I'm gonna give you a fucking. I got five songs. So I'm gonna give you three songs of that. But I'll give you them other two, nigga. That's my shit. Right. So you can have a balance, nigga. Like for real, for real. Yeah, but I mean. I can't wait till niggas hear this shit, bro. Like I like, said, even <laughs> with my shit, like, this, this whole tape is pretty much turned up, but I'm sliding shit in there. But, dog, that, that, that C3, and you, where you say that motherfucking car and shit, like, dog, like, nigga, like, nobody can't say you, 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 like, I had niggas on this bitch, I thought, I'm lying to these niggas, like, that shit straight. Right. Nigga, that shit straight, nigga, like, you got. I appreciate that. Straight. I'm not gonna lie to nigga, lie to you, like, for real, on some real shit. I wanna mention that shit. I'll mention that shit one time. Yeah. But I ain't gonna say that shit two times. But no, that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but it's the first interview, and I done did plenty of fucking podcasts interviews. It's the first interview somebody then got into the lyrics, yeah. And the shit just came out yesterday, yesterday, so I definitely respect the shit. shit. Nigga, like, 
I'm I, I'm listening to shit when these niggas here. Like my thing is this, dog. If I bring you on the show, I'm not about to lie and say I listen to your shit. Right. Even if it's some shit that I might not like, I'm still gonna listen to that shit. I'm and I'm gonna give it more than one listen. Yeah. That's the that's what that's what's wrong with niggas, dog. Like, for example, nigga, uh, Kanye West, nigga, the uh, College Dropout, the first album. Right. I ain't like this shit at first. Oh no, that was my shit. At first, I didn't like it, but now, nigga, that shit classic, nigga. But I listen to that bitch over and over again. And that's what that's what I encourage niggas to do. If you don't, if you don't like my shit on the first listen, listen again. I, and I don't even think it's gonna be that the yeah. fact that you ain't gonna like it. Yeah. Unless you just don't like me. And I mean, it's, <laughs> there's plenty of niggas out there like that. And I always say, like, if you don't like me, it's probably a problem with you, nigga, because sure. I ain't coming with no bullshit. Hell yeah. But like, like I said, I'm I'm sliding gems in there, like I like yeah. on Woozy, and I said. Uh, two of my niggas had love for each other to turn toxic yeah. over a bitch that get more neck than an ostrich. Like, nigga, the shit funny but when it comes down yeah, to it. The shit a gem, bro. Don't don't fall out with your dog over no female. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. yeah. And she dog. necking up everybody in the hood. Hell like, yeah, come yeah, on, bro. She in love with you, nigga, but right. she's just that motherfucker, dog. Like she had Keisha. Like nigga, talk about Lil Wayne, nigga. Lil yeah. Wayne got that song called Keisha. Nigga, Keisha, nigga, whole hot boys hit Keisha, nigga. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, for real, dog. That's why I, I, nigga, I be on that shit, dog. Like. Like, I got some shit on my shit, nigga, like, talking about, like, how, like, nigga, niggas think I changed, but, nigga, I'm really fucked up right now. Yeah. Like, nigga, my money really not right, nigga. I'm not changing, nigga. I'm just, I'm fucked up, nigga. Right. Understand that I'm fucked up, man. I can't fuck with y'all niggas on the, on the level of going out and just being how I used to be. Right. When I'm trying to get things back and popping. Right. Once I, when my son and my, when my son and my girl, they straight, and I see they straight as far as what money I'm making, nigga. All right, I come fuck with y'all niggas. But it's the whole thing, though. Everybody ain't meant to fuck with you in every stage of your life. You get what I'm sure, saying? Yeah. Certain shit happen for a reason. Yeah. I ain't gonna say certain. Everything happened for a reason. Yeah. So if niggas ain't fucking with you when you fucked up, they weren't fucking with you in the first place. <laughs> they were fucking with what you was doing for them. Yeah, or yeah. what the shit that you you was doing shit to make them feel a certain way about their shit. Fuck yeah. So, and that's why I say music niggas speak volumes. Nigga. Yeah. Nigga, you can nigga write your shit nigga when you motherfucker popping nigga with, nigga all the money in the world. Yeah. And when you broke as fuck, niggas gonna understand what the fuck you going through. But that's why I say it's a visual. And you, once you put the visual in anything, motherfuckers don't understand it ten times more. Like I said, I'm gonna do some shit, dog. I'm gonna fuck around with this nigga Hood Howard Stern and shit. Nigga you got to, bro. And nigga, go do the camera and shit. Nigga, go buy the old, the old SC building. <laughs> but like I said, I did this shit called Dog, You About to Get Married. Yeah. That shit just talking about, nigga, he always says shit like, Dog, You About to Get Married. <laughs> so I think, I'm at work like, Damn, what if I use this shit as a. It's like, damn, what if I'm trying to fuck a chick before I get married? Yeah. So we turned that shit to a whole little project, dog. Make sure I see that shit. Make <laughs> sure y'all yeah. send me that I mean, shit. We got to go ahead and finish that shit, nigga. I got to make sure I get... Because uh, believe it or not, it's, it's a whole lot of people probably going through the same hell shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So let me ask you this, dog. Like, I was trying to make this shit not sound like, nigga, like you in love with a nigga voice. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> nigga was talking about some shit. But I'm like, I remember last time we did Top 5 Names. Mm -hmm. So, nigga, give me like, yo, if you can, yo, Top 5 Niggas yeah. Deliveries. Like, mm -hmm. a, like, nigga, this nigga got a unique voice. This ain't, this ain't gonna sound. be in no order. All right. Meek. Yeah. Future. This nigga, your nigga, cuz. He love both niggas. <laughs> yeah. Meek, Future. I, I love the way Wiz be on the song. Okay. I ain't gonna say now, though. Yeah. I don't, I don't really be... I ain't gonna even lie to nobody and say, like, I've been listening to his newer shit. Yeah. Uh, What's that? That's three. Yeah. I like Future more when he... When he um Toxic Future. Yeah, when he turned the fuck up. Well, yeah, when he like talking about like he going through some shit. Yeah, yeah, I like him bear like that. Some shit he ain't supposed to be talking about on some. <laughs> yeah, I like, like I said, Meek, Future, Wiz. I love the way Jay delivers shit because it's like he ain't never really trying. Yeah, like it's just effortlessly, like yeah. it's just great. You feel yeah, me? Hell yeah. And then shit, I gotta say, uh, Lil Baby. Yeah, nigga, I just started looking, listening to Lil Baby. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. I told about you last ago. time. Cold. Nigga. And, and, you and know I, I can appreciate when niggas start going on a run. Because I, I done seen it when it was about to but happen. But you know why, though? Because for the most part, when you talk to Lil Wayne about new artists, he'd be like, I don't know who, I don't know nobody. Right, Wayne said Lil Baby. That nigga mentioned Lil Baby by name, nigga. Because when, when, you, when, you <laughs> a nigga that, when you a nigga that rap, like in rap rap, you can see when a nigga about to go on a run. Man. And when, since uh, my dog, that, that was like one of the first songs that popped off for Lil Baby. I knew this nigga was about to go on the run. Yeah. And it was because of that delivery. Nigga, to that me, shit dog, sounds so raw and just... Like you, to me, nigga, what's ain't got to be up there, though, dog? Like, my shit is 2 chains. Mm. 2 chains, nigga. That nigga sound like your uncle. Dog. That's what that, he sound that like. That nigga be Drunk rap. uncle at the yeah. picnic. And then you be like, if you go back and listen... Call like, her Big Booty because she got a big <laughs> booty, nigga. You be like, oh, she do got a big booty, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. That nigga Two Chain be clowning it, dog. Like Two Chain is one of my one of my my guys, nigga. Yeah. Like, yeah, but we yeah we talking about uh shit rap deliveries like I said, dog. Like, like pop, dog. To me, I mm. feel like that nigga voice was an instrument, dog. Yeah. That nigga, was, that nigga, like you said, two chains, pop. Like future, I feel like nigga, like when nigga was doing the whole auto tune, that nigga took that bitch to a different level, dog. Yeah. Like so that nigga, that, that nigga delivery, like nigga, like you felt that bitch, like right. cause T Pain, of course T Pain, nigga, cause he took the whole Ooh. shit to T Pain took that shit to a new level, nigga. Yeah. Like, like he could really sing, but he was using that bitch like nigga for his advantage. Like, I say, I say like. Future is like the trapped out T Pain, and when yeah. I say that, it's cause like, if you listen to T Pain, like T Pain used Auto Tune the yeah. correct way. Hell yeah, hell yeah, fuck. Future yeah. just turned Auto Tune on just cause. Hell yeah, and even just even go even, the fuck off. And that's why, dog, we was talking about what's name. And this is like, I, I always say Tupac my favorite rapper, but my favorite rapper as far as like when I started getting to rap for it was Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. I felt like he started using that Auto Tune a little too much, dog. Mm. So so much that his voice started sounding all tune. His regular voice. His know? regular voice sounded. If you go back to listen to uh, early Wayne, yeah, bro, his voice already sounded like it had auto tune on it. No, but it's like yeah, not. Yeah. I don't know, dog. It's something about it. I, I love Wayne. I love Wayne, dog. It's just like he ain't the same. The same it's the fact that niggas ain't. Is it like Cassidy? Cause Cass he ain't no, like Cassidy. No, Cause Cassidy, Cassidy, trash. Cassidy is out of touch. Yeah, so he be bad rapping. He still be saying those nineteen ninety nine two thousand. Y'all heard Cassidy making beats? Like, <laughs> yeah, that nigga's out of touch. What's yeah. going on? Yeah, he, Wayne Tupac. Wayne thing is give him time. Like yeah. niggas got to remember that big ass gap in between yeah. the Carter Four and the Carter Five. Yeah, and all the music that he put out on the Carter Five was already made. Yeah, already. Yeah. So just give that nigga time to get. And he's just now opening up to the newer artists. Yeah. Like, it was a time where shit... And you got to think about this. When he was shut down, nigga had beef with Thug. Yeah, hell yeah. He, he, Thug he is that, like the bro. new Wayne. Yeah, but Wayne was trying to show him... I mean, Thug was trying to show him respect, but Wayne was looking at like, nigga, you He was taking that disrespect. Me. But you got to look at who Thug was connected to. Birdman. He was talking Birdman. You know what I'm saying? So it all just looked yeah. bad. But Wayne got a song with, with Gunna. Yeah. So it's only a matter of time before. Yeah, him and Thug. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. must already squash the shit. And the reason I say that, because like I said, Gun and Sign the Thug. Yeah. Shit wasn't happening to us like Atlanta? that. Yeah. Nigga, I, nigga, Atlanta got some motherfucking niggas. <laughs> that That's shit. what I'm saying. Like, you got you to gotta give Wayne. Wayne ain't going to never be an ass artist. Yeah. You just got to give him a time to adjust. In between the, the Carter one and uh, the Hot Boys days, yeah. niggas had to give Wayne a chance to adjust. And see, I thought Wayne was cold as fuck with the Hot Boys days, but niggas didn't respect him until after that shit was over with. No, he was I already cold. I with Wayne, nigga, Hot Boys, it just, nigga. It's the way that shit was set up. No, Juvenile like, was the front man. Yeah, and he said this shit on one of his CDs, like, nigga, like, dog, like, I was supposed to be the next up, but nigga, Juvenile was in front of me. Yeah. So I let him shine, and I, I, I felt the like line. Like you said earlier, niggas got to know how to play their role nigga, when you're on that and team. And Wayne play his role like, dog, Juvenile hot, so why fuck would I sit here and drop before him knowing that everybody fucking with juvenile right now yeah. and like i said when wayne when wayne line up right now with the new producers the new artists and shit i put money on it, it's gonna he gonna have a whole nother run god damn juvenile was my nigga dog yeah juvie was my nigga too dog juvenile was my 400 degrees that was, was the like, first artist that like gave me that feeling more nigga. than you feel his words because yeah. some of shit i didn't even know what he was nigga, saying i didn't know about rap for real until 400 degrees came out and i'm like dog this nigga is a fucking it's the only nigga that i ain't gonna say the only because Jada Kids did it too. I about to say that's the only nigga that asked questions the whole song, and that bitch was hard. <laughs> that nigga put huh after everything. Huh? Nigga, that bitch like dog. Can you hear me, nigga? Yeah. yeah huh? huh? Like, dog. Juvenile shit was cold. And even like niggas talking about 400 degrees, but Gorilla. No, what was his second one? Was it Gorilla Warfare? That was the Hot Boys, wasn't it? I don't even remember, bro. His second album was cold. And then the third one, nigga, when he said, nigga, like, uh, she get it from her mama. Yeah. That shit, nigga, Juvenile a cold ass nigga. The, the shit he Juvenile did always baby. been cold, bro, but it's something about, it's the pride of them New Orleans niggas. Yeah. Like, if you think about it, the same pride that kind of fucked over No Limit, the same pride that kind of fucked over Cash Money and Juvenile and them. You know what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. Hell yeah, dog. It's the fact that niggas want their money up front. Yeah, and yeah. niggas want to do shit how they do it when it can you really be done nigga, on a bigger scale. I remember we was playing motherfucking um the little uh what that shit called karaoke. I mean that bitch nigga, everybody singing and that bitch. I put that motherfucking juvenile bad that thing up, nigga. Like they do it every time. <laughs> Fuck what y'all talk about. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't use that shit talking to a girl. <laughs> you know you trying to back that thing up for the nine yeah. nine two thousand. Yeah. For <laughs> real, nigga. Shit Hell work. Yeah. Now, nigga, we sticking on rap shit though. Have you been watching the uh, versus battles? Yeah, I watched a few of. Uh, What's the one? What's the one that you like the most, and then what's the one you want to see? 
Go one ahead. I liked the most It wasn't even rap It was just because That shit was pure comedy Teddy Riley and Babyface <laughs> yeah. That shit was pure comedy I don't know who Dog was Dancing Dog. in the background Dog that he, made, he made my night nigga. nigga My shit was the uh, The uh, T-Pain and fucking Lil John. That yeah was that shit was lit made. That shit was lit that, As far as music wise That one was lit Who, who you wanna see battle nigga To me I wanna see Niggas keep talking about T.I. and Jeezy But I think T.I. killed Jeezy mm. I think T.I. gotta go against Wayne T.I. would kill Jeezy, nigga. I think T.I. got to go against Ross. I, don't, I think he'd get Ross. I don't know. That's going to be nigga, a close one. Commercial-wise. Well, this ain't commercial, though. <laughs> this you, is all records. But you got to look at it. They, they niggas going off of, they, off, off of 20 tracks. You don't think Ross got 20? I think T.I. would give it to him. I'm sorry, nigga. I, I T.I. would give it to Ross, That's boy. Be, it should be so close. And as far as the Jeezy shit. I know niggas gonna be mad at me when I say this. I feel like we gotta find a way for Jeezy and Gucci to at least battle on verses. <laughs> at least, bro. Duh. But hold on, T.I., nigga, you got what you know about that. Like, nigga, he got, dog. You really wanna go there with the raw shit? Like, he got hustling for that? No, cuz. I gotta look about my fucking title, nigga. <laughs> I, I, I can think of everything you gonna say. What, what, what was the first one you just said? What you know about that? Oh, he got 20 foes. Then you got that motivation. Yep. 20 foes. You got that uh that shit he got with Rih- Rihanna. Big thing popping. Big thing popping. If he play the Rihanna shit, he really ain't got to go there. But I mean, he, he gonna go there just for because of because of the fan love. Okay. Nigga, T I dog. And you don't think Ross got for all them hits you just named? You don't think Ross got huh. one? Ross, I, not, not, don't 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 get me mistaken. And they got and they and they talking about true. features too. Oh yeah, he is talking about features. Yeah. Hold on. I mean, I tip, tip, got, tip got features, too. Yeah. I'm just saying this would be a good battle. That's the one that I want to see. That's the one I, I want to see him against against Ross instead of him against Jeezy. I don't want to see him against Jeezy. Like I said, the one that everybody wants to see. Jeezy and Gucci may be the best one. Be if the, the niggas one. could be on camera together and not argue and shit. Cause like, I mean, <laughs> how do you not argue, though? Because yeah. at some point, Gucci going to drop the song where he was talking about killing dog. Yeah. Go dig your homeboy up. Like, come on, bro. Once you say that, it's damn hard, bro. Where you at? You fuck with Gucci? When I was younger, I ain't fuck with Gucci. Yeah, I ain't fuck with Gucci until I got, like... I ain't fuck with Gucci until I realized how consistent that nigga was. Nigga, consistent as fuck. As, like, Remember, when I was uh, in high school, nigga dropped the tape down there every week. OJ and shit, nigga, yeah. like... <laughs> I, fuck with, I fuck with OJ in real life. Like, yeah. when I see that nigga, that's down there, like, what up, up? Like, he no, OJ and Juice niggas. Man, dog, nigga sleeping on that shit, dog. Like, nigga, Gucci was... Gucci was... I don't know if it's Gucci or if it's fucking, um... Waka Mom, but Waka... I think I want to say Walker Mile was fucking with niggas before niggas was fucking with them. Like Nikki, yeah, it's, French, it's, it's a mixture of both of them. Gucci, like, like she, she was, was bring, she was bringing the New York people in. But then they got me thinking, like, damn, all right, you brought them niggas in, but are you a fucked up manager? Like to not to keep them niggas on the roster? You got Nikki, Gucci. It's only so much you can French. offer. You, it's, only, it's only so much you can offer them. Yeah, because then you got Wayne. Yeah. 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 But yeah, yeah, that's true. And then for French, you had niggas like Diddy coming in, so like. What can you do? Yeah, nigga, getting them motherfucking edibles. That shit, that just destroyed me last time, nigga. Yeah, I'm straight. <laughs> yeah, I, no, nigga, I'm super I straight, I got shit nigga. to do today. Hell yeah. <laughs> so let me ask you this, dog. Like, last time we was on a podcast, dog, it's off of music. Mm-hmm. We was talking about shit that a female or a male got to keep up. Mm-hmm. And I said mustache. Because mm-hmm. a mustache got a lot of responsibility, nigga. A mustache make your whole face, nigga. Like, you talking about for a man or a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you gotta ask nowadays, nigga. <laughs> for a man, so I, I say like, more for a woman. <laughs> you gotta be gone at all times. You can't even see like the little hairs on the side. <laughs> like it's gonna be a fucking problem. <laughs> I can't even fuck with you no more. So though, no, I said for a man, a mustache is a, is a big responsibility, though. Like yeah, because if a man mustache is messed up, his whole you ain't fucking paying attention to how Crispy's lineup is. How crispy a taper in the blend is, nigga. You looking right at that motherfucking mustache. Mm-hmm. I don't even fucking touch my mustache, nigga, since the quarantine, nigga. I just touch all head. Nigga, this little face, nigga, this shit growing on my motherfucking on my cheeks, nigga. I got a half a mustache, bro. I don't know. <laughs> these, these responsibilities are something I never had to worry about. So what's some shit like, what's some shit on a girl or a dude that they got to keep up, dog? For a nigga, you got to keep your shoes on point. Yeah. Women always gonna look at your shoes. Women can tell like what type of nigga you is by the type of shoes you got on. Yeah, for sure. And niggas can do the same thing. You see a nigga with yeah. that's like you see an old nigga with them sandals on. <laughs> the clothes boys, not the open toe boys. The clothes <laughs> that nigga was barbecuing today. <laughs> you feel me? Like you can tell what type of person you dealing with. No, for real. And for a female, for me, yeah, it's your hair. Yeah, for sure. Your hair, your nails. I, like I shouldn't be able to see like nigga like I shouldn't be able to see no crazy shit in your hair, nigga like. 
I, I, I no. Let me see that shit. Yeah. And when I say that, if you came over here with your tracks and shit, I, I know what you own. Yeah. You feel me? But if you no. come over here with your hair all did up and shit, I mean, you might get a little bit more now, respect. This shit, this shit ain't like on the same shit, but like I'll be noticing like when you gonna be on IG or like Facebook, chicks that's caca, nigga, they only take that picture on the right side. On the, on the, on the, yeah, they get it together. They don't want to see that left side, nigga. That bitch is wonder like Bernie Mac, cause, like T Mac and shit. Hell no. <laughs> I know a chick, dog. You well, still got to watch it, though, because them editing shits is real good. Well, I follow, nigga. She be that bitch, nigga. No matter what the camera is, nigga. That bitch on the right side, nigga. Like, <laughs> that motherfucker eye, nigga. Like, nigga. That left side, nigga. She got that bitch, nigga. You got self the background, people. nigga. That motherfucking left eye is fucking rap. Not who? New edition. Who's the nigga who can sing, nigga? Uh, not Giant Gill. Uh, DeVoe. That nigga. That, that left eye. Right, that left, <laughs> left eye, Ryan DeVoe, nigga. nigga that right eye, tra Raz Transman. <laughs> But you gotta remember though, like, <laughs> all females got that one pose, that go-to pose. Bro. Yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's because they probably self-conscious about some shit, like you said. Dog, cause I swear to God, nigga, there's one particular chick, dog. My nigga know who he is, dog. My nigga Rez know who the fuck I'm talking about, nigga. I hope my nigga Rez get back right, cause he got to a little situation. But nigga, her whole right side, nigga, is on that, on the IG, nigga. You don't even know what her left side looks like. Her left side, nigga, handicapped, nigga. That bitch she like might this, come nigga. Out that looking bitch. like motherfucking Two Face. <laughs> dog, for real, nigga. So I'm like, I'm looking like, damn, like. I know what that left side look like. But that's what I'm saying. You always got to be skeptical of people that ain't got that many pictures on Instagram. Yeah. Or, or they only got one side or they all head hold shots. Hold on, but nigga, now. Something wrong. It's one chick. It's a cute fat chick, nigga. Mm -hmm. A cute fat chick that I know. But you won't see shit from the neck down. Oh. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. And tell her ass she needs to stop that. It's somebody out here that want to see your body and don't give a damn that you big. You Dog, yeah, if, exactly. Because she cute as fuck from the neck up. She got a nice face. But that's the fucked up part. Because nice if I pull up, because I expect to see this face with a different body, I'm going to pull off when you come outside. Because that ain't what I pulled up for. I wasn't duh, expecting this. Dog. Dog. Because I'm, I'm talking about she nice. Nigga face pretty as fuck. But you get them motherfucking get down low, nigga. That bitch overlapping with the overlay, nigga. Like, that oh bitch is like. You and that bitch, nigga. You got a couple of motherfucking Michelin men in that bitch. Like. <laughs> Like, nigga, you and that bitch, nigga, like, your face look like 160, nigga. Oh, your hell body about no. two, 230, That's nigga. That's what like. I'm saying. Look, don't be out here, you know what I'm saying, giving niggas the runaround. Put it on the flow. Man. Let niggas know what's going on. let me know what's going on, nigga. Don't have me coming to that bitch and you motherfucking, nigga, the top face looking for real. And your body looking Rick Ross's, nigga. Like, you oh big as fuck, God. nigga. Your face looking skinny as fuck, nigga. Like, you really, you really big for real, I'll be nigga. devious like that. Hell yeah, nigga, for real. So, nigga, like. I'm going back and forth, nigga. Go back to the music. Mm -hmm. Can somebody be great if you find out they music been written by somebody else? Hell yeah. The All simple right, fact that shit. Diddy still great. <laughs> yeah. Dr. But Dre shit still great. They great, but like Diddy and Dre, those those not the type of niggas you gonna consider as like lyricists. Like say, all right, you you love Jay Z, right? Mm -hmm. I love Jay Z. Like you saying if a nigga came on to say he wrote Jay shit, and then Jay Z like yeah he wrote my shit. Shit made me feel the same, the same way. <laughs> like Kanye West, nigga. Like a lot of his shit was written by somebody else. Yeah, by Round Fist. Yeah, and then you got Diddy. But did you ever listen to a Round Fist song? It's trash. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So fuck it. So you you couldn't say like, it. You could. That, that's just like the Bible, nigga. Somebody else <laughs> wrote the Bible, but you believe in Jesus. <laughs> you feel me? Like, come on, bro. I don't hold that over, niggas. Cause like, it's like motherfucker Diddy, nigga. J Kiss was writing a lot of Diddy shit. Man, and Mace was writing a lot of that shit. Yeah, and Mace. Oh, Mace, man. What the fuck, Mace? That's what I'm saying. I love Mace. I love Mace. What happened? Wait. But I believe in Diddy. That's yeah. what I'm trying to tell you. I love Mace, but Mace, why Why you had to go, like, all right, we understand you went Jesus. But you could have came back, nigga, and still kill it in the gospel. He did man. come back and was killing. Welcome back is still hard in the gospel. about when he tried to get uh, with Gene Union, he was trying to cuss and shit like us. Come on, dog. Shit, he just did that song about Cameron, and I love that shit. Oh, he killed Cameron on that bitch. That's what I'm saying. So he, he can still come back. He just got to stay consistent, bro. You can't. Be on, you can't be Creflo Dollar on Sunday and then <laughs> be Mace, <laughs> Murder Mace on Monday, bro. Like, dog, hell yeah. So, nigga, before we end this bitch, dog, last time we talked, dog, you was talking about the podcast. What's up? Man, same thing. Yeah. Everything shut down. Niggas was talking about studio shit shut down and all that. But everybody keep telling me when I need to go ahead and do it. So, yeah. just be expecting for that motherfucker to what come. Your, what was your kiss? What was your, I would say your kiss, nigga. I'm talking about Jay kiss still. What was your shit consist of? Like, what was your shit be about? Shit, music, sneakers. Yeah. Uh, shit, probably some dating advice somewhere in there. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, I'll just be all over the place like the Breakfast Club pretty much. Hell yeah. Just because I, I feel like I can hang in there with any topic. I would definitely be wanting guests to come on for sure. For sure. And, but it's looking like I'm going to have to do like what you're doing. 
not worry about having no co-host or none of that shit. Mm. Dog, like they all come. I wanted to have a co-host, dog. Like I was talking shit to my niggas the other day, dog. My cousin, his homeboy, nigga. We supposed to have a shit called Twenty One Game. Yeah. Two, two plus one is three. Me and him and his boy. But this nigga talking about, man. I'm corporate, man. I got a manager position. Like, cause these niggas ain't looking at your shit, bro. It, and that and that's probably, <laughs> that might be something else that you need to look into. Keep this show. Yeah, yeah. It didn't do some other do, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Cause my homegirl, uh, so so, she was talking about some shit, but then that Corona shit hit. You talking about so so that do? Uh, she had the, the like the little Vlad shit. Yeah, I had went on there. That's my nigga. Yeah, she Hell cool. Yeah. She cool in the yeah. Dog. Matter of fact, shit, I I used to send her my tapes before I even put them out. Yeah, she'd tell me like, yeah, you doing too much singing on this shit. Like, yeah. some, you know what I'm saying? Dog, she was she cool, cool in the motherfucker. So so was good. It's funny when she came over here, dog. She was like, yeah, I I be seeing your interviews. It be long. I ain't trying to be on here all day. Nigga, she was on here, bitch, just as long as everybody else was. Yeah, that's what motherfuckers say then they get here and get comfortable and get the chop yeah. it up. Because she was on here, nigga, like, we was, we was talking it up. Everybody knows she got a wife and shit, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, nigga, we just chopping up. Her wife was over. Everything was good. And, nigga, she So, so, you need, to get your, you need to get your show back up. Or, shit, come fuck with me. Let's do something. Nigga. Cause Me, you she, and Shaw, let's do it. Hell, yeah, nigga. That be, that be dope, <laughs> nigga. Fuck it. Let's nigga. do it. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm with it because she said she got the whole little spot right down on casual, nigga. Hell yeah, nigga. Shit. Let's do it. I'm down. You know, I'm, I'm a Charlotte man, nigga. I'm going to say some shit and then be regretting that shit later. Hey, I'm going to say some shit and not give a fuck. Because <laughs> Envy, nigga, we look at the Breakfast Club, you be mad as fuck when Charlotte man ain't there. Yeah, it ain't the same show. I don't watch it no more. I was mad as fuck when Ha Ha Day was on that bitch and then you know, fucking T Grizzly and Charlotte man wasn't there. I'm like, nigga, I'm fucked. And nigga, I'm, I'm about to fast forward this shit, dog. Yeah, because he going to ask the shit you shouldn't be asking. Hell yeah. So, nigga, I know last time we did top three, mm -hmm. you was hearing shit, dog. So, I can only think of one top three, nigga, and this is off your mistake, dog. Give me your top three struggle meals. Struggle meals? I think I put that shit on the tape, too. Yep. That's cook I ups. <laughs> yeah, like the cook up, bro. Like the the noodles and adding just anything that's around you, bro. That For real. Niggas know was... about that shit. Hell yeah. Uh,. My second one, shit, them syrup sandwiches. <laughs> niggas know about hey, that too. Ain't one, shit else in here. One niggas on my shit, he he didn't know about sugar toes. Uh, who don't? This one nigga, I ain't gonna yeah, put his name on there. Yeah, no, he need to be on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> put that nigga front and center. No, I nigga know about this. All right, shit, Fresh Boy Trail, he ain't know about the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> He ain't know about the sugar toast, nigga. Yeah, hey, that, hey, that's my third one. Yeah, that sugar toast be pop. I might go and make some of that shit now. Dog, when I was a little kid, I remember my mom, nigga, you not knowing what that motherfucking last motherfucking drawer is in the oven, nigga. That bitch for steak, nigga. We put his toast on that bitch. Put the motherfucking like, syrup yeah. on that bitch with the butter. Gotta get it popping. Dog, so I put, nigga, sugar toast is my motherfucking one. Nigga, pork beans and hot dogs. Yeah. And then, nigga, this nigga crazy. And my third nigga. I was just about to say, niggas need to realize too, like hot dog is a struggle meal. <laughs> That's why your grandma was well, there's some hot dogs in there. Like, nobody want that shit, grandma. I don't know why that shit been in there. That shit's a struggle meal though. Like. Hell yeah, and then nigga, um, I said sugar toast, pork beans and hot dogs. And you gotta put that shit on that shit, cause you eat that shit even to the day, nigga. It's ramen noodles, nigga. We call that shit That's Rayman. A struggle? Rayman. I said to me, the cook up was a struggle meal because of the, the noodles. And you literally be trying to find other shit to put in there. Yeah, like, hell yeah. You motherfucking grab some bag of Doritos, start smashing yeah. bitches up because you want a new flavor. You done ate all the chicken shit out of there. <laughs> Pork, nigga, beef. You be trying to put everything in there. Matter of fact, we talking about Master P. That nigga got the motherfucking shit, dog. The uh, uh, rap snacks, uh, ramen noodles. I ain't even tried it yet. I tried shit. It was the same. I'm going I'm to have to try it, not because it's Master P, but like those chips, nigga, I slept on them at first. But oh, no, them chips good as fuck. The hey, best them, ones are the fucking Boosies, them little Weezy nah, and the Hots, nigga. Them, them, no, see what I'm saying? We we all got different ones. <laughs> Notorious B.I.G. shit, slap. <laughs> see what I'm saying? <laughs> the Icon, the uh, the barbecue joints, the cookout. No, niggas all got different shit, dog. Psh, that's what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. All right, give me your, uh, you ain't no drinker, but dog. I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm sure you ain't put effing in it. No, nah, that's that definitely drinks, not in there. <laughs> you got top three drinks. Damn, I'm, I'm looking at this bitch ain't shit in there. Duce. Is that, that's my go-to. I think I love that shit. Hennessy. Mm -hmm. I'm, and some rum. I don't even know what kind of rum. But rum rum do it for me. Yeah, see, my shit, my top three that I go to, nigga, is the Crown Vanilla. Hennessy, uh, White Hennessy. That shit cold as fuck. And now, like, uh, some some new shit I didn't taste, nigga, was that, was that, that Larceny there? Yeah, little bourbon and whiskey shit, Word. bro. And if and if if it gotta be some type of white in there, it's either gonna be Don Julio or eighteen hundred. I'd have some good nights off of both of them. Eighteen hundred got me together, boy. Eighteen hundred, they got me. Eighteen hundred made me feel like I was rich, nigga. Like I went from the single gents to eighteen hundred. That's the thing about me, though. Like this, this is one of the main reasons I don't drink. When you drink and you got money in your pocket. <laughs> You gonna wake up tomorrow and ain't gonna have shit in your pocket. 
Cause you, either you gonna keep buying drinks or you gonna buy somebody else something. Hell yeah. That's why I try to stay the fuck out the club. Mm-hmm. Like, cause once I get drink, once, once I get drunk, bro, I get generous as a motherfucker. Hell yeah. What y'all drinking on? Like, bitch, I don't even know y'all. I should have bought y'all <laughs> shit. All right, give, all right, shit, give me your top three. Uh, you in the clothes? All your top three. Uh, clothing. Clothing like it'd be lying like Sean John shit like that. No, no, I ain't putting on no Sean John, B. <laughs> I never had no Sean John. Bro. I, I had Sean John in the past though. I never had Sean John before in my life. Hey, Sean John used to be that shit. That's when niggas you check your tag, nigga. You got the motherfucking football and that bitch say. Uh, I used to swing on niggas long. trying to grab my tag. I wasn't giving my shit no, <laughs> nigga. Like, but no, my uh, my top three clothing lines has got to be Ralph Lauren. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep some billionaire boy club shit on, and that's ice cream included. Yeah. Uh, three and probably. I said my shit's simple, like, oh, coach. Okay. I said that shit on my first on my first album. Who's the one dude? I see y'all was talking shit because you like nigga. I peeped that and you like dog. You must got some taste. Nigga named Notorious or something. Oh, Notorious uh fan. I'm gonna get that nigga on the motherfucking show. That's my guy. That nigga. Royce, come come through, my nigga. I might get that nigga on the show. That's my guy. We. uh, Y'all talking about the uh y'all talking about some shit you had. I I had on. I said that shit on the tape too. I had on some bape Doc Martens. Yeah. Yeah, the motherfuckers cost me about four hundred. See, I don't be knowing shit, cuz. No vapes. You gotta put me on. I, I I told him one nigga on my shit, dog. He was young. He was twenty. He didn't know who fucking KDZ in them was. Yeah. So I'm like, nigga, put me on. They let me know what's up. Hell yeah, I had some some vape Doc Martens. Niggas don't even know about the Doc Martens. They look they look like some skinhead boots or some shit. <laughs> them bitches is the Jodeci boots. You know the boots that Jodeci used to wear. Mm-hmm. They was them, but they had I vape had them on bitches. them. I got my little boot from uh, fucking Payless and said them bitches were Jodeci boots. Nigga. Yeah, like, no, see the real boys was the, the Doc Martens. You can go to Journeys or whatever, <laughs> but you ain't gonna be able to find the ones that we was talking about. Yeah, the vape joints. Sure. You gotta go on like StockX or some shit. Yeah, but yeah, he he was the only one that really peeped them shits. But I threw that shit in on, on the song. I mean, keep it with y'all niggas. Cost too much money, dog. I'm just I, I just buy what I like, bro. No, I be in that bitch, nigga. Let me get that white tee. Yeah, no, I'm still gonna buy the white tee, but it's got to be Ralph Lauren. I got the bitch today, nigga. Let me get that white tee, good five dollars. All right, see, babe. I I can't buy one of them t-shirts from the gas station and shit. Like, nigga, nipples be exposed and shit. Like, hey, my nipples you gotta go keep, hard. You gotta keep going like this and shit. Like, I'm straight, bro. That bitch fit like a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> You feel me? I'm going to tell you every time. Go ahead and spin that 40 ball on that pack of Ralph Lauren Dog. t-shirts, bro. That nigga say white tee? I mean, that nigga say motherfucking nipple showing. You ain't that motherfucker. You got to keep looking like, damn. That hey, nigga look, nigga look strong, but he really fat in that bitch, nigga. Yeah. Nipple off. You thinking you look good and fit, nigga? They laughing because you ain't got your nipples out. Dog, that shit funny as hell, Now let your shirt get wet from sweating. Nigga, I, that's why I had to cut that shit down. Feel me? I turned the fan on, nigga, for you see all nipples in this bitch, nigga. <laughs> see what I'm shit, saying? This quarantine got me, nigga. I got, I got an extra 15 pounds in this bitch, nigga. Hey, like I told you last time, bro, before this year, or last year, nigga, I was 145 all my life. Duh. I just now started gaining weight. Damn, how much you weigh now, nigga? Shit, 190. God damn, I'm 180. Now. I'm mad as fuck, because, nigga, before the quarantine hit, nigga, I got the 165. I ain't tripping, bro. Like, niggas that is skinny right now, that goes to show what's going on in your crib. <laughs> Y'all niggas is not eating struggle meals. Y'all not eating shit. Was, you feel me? I'm not. I'm eating everything. Man, I'm me? in that bitch, nigga, eating good. Then that bitch. And then my girl, nigga, she pregnant, so she like, nigga, want to eat out every day. Hey, she can't even you. taste, nigga. She, if you if she smells seasoning, shit, she throwing up. So guess what the fuck I gotta do, nigga? Buy restaurant food. I'm in that bitch pieces out. I'm gonna eat all type of carbs. I've been eating all that shit the whole time in quarantine, but I also been having them home cooked. I'm talking. To, Big healthy ass meals. I can't wait till she get the steaks unpre- and the, when she get unpregnant, we do that shit. Yeah, the shrimps, <laughs> fucking baked potatoes, all that. Matter of fact, I'm gonna make a phone call now. <laughs> nigga, I need my plate on the way. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, and that's yeah, what yeah, niggas yeah, need to do though. Like, for sure. As men, I ain't just saying this for just you know what I'm saying every listener because women usually grocery shop. Niggas need to learn how to grocery shop and niggas need to talk about grocery shopping. Nigga, grocery shop that should be fun, nigga. For me, think about it, bro. You ain't never heard your dad say, "Bro, I gotta go to the grocery store and grab." Yeah, like, no, no, nigga ain't gonna never. You nigga, feel me? That, that, that shit that ain't shit. true. That ain't true, bro. Like, niggas gotta control what we eat. Just like, nigga, your girl can cook you all this shit, and she can know this shit ain't healthy for the both of y'all. Yeah. But she know you like this shit. Yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying? But once you yeah. figure out what the fuck going into your body and how your body react to it, yeah. as men, bro, we gotta start taking charge. Of, go, go to the grocery store, bro. Yeah, that's why I say it probably was a good thing I ain't eat that motherfucking milkshake yesterday. I, I know I'm about to go ass, right man. after this, nigga. I'm nigga, going. I'm, I'm motherfucking lactose as fuck, nigga. See what I'm saying? As soon as the motherfucking pizza cheese hit my stomach, nigga, it's a wrap, nigga. You was about to drink a whole milkshake, and they oh. turn that bitch to a large. <laughs> <laughs> you you wasn't even gonna make it home. That's, Duh. that's a different type of pain. To I shit mean, on yourself in front of your girl <laughs> is a different type of pain. <laughs> No matter
matter if y'all married or not. That's a Duh. different type of pain. No, you be that bitch farting, nigga. She can tell your ass to get the room, nigga. Like, get your motherfucking ass out the room, girl. You gotta go sleep on the couch. Hell yeah, cause you motherfucking got diarrhea in that bitch. Cause you lactose and you like fuck it. Yeah. I be that bitch eating the hell out of ice cream, nigga, putting the syrup on that bitch. Yeah, nigga, I be farting, nigga, put the man, I'll put the cover I'll do some dumb shit, put the cover over her head, nigga. Like Hell no. Fuck yeah, y'all married. Y'all marry, married, nigga. Hell yeah, nigga. I put that cover over her head. She be mad as fuck, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, every one time she walked out the room on me, nigga, I might be like, fuck it. And shit, I'll, be, I'll sleep good tonight. Say, fuck that well, shit. Well, shit, last time, nigga, we was on that bitch, dog. We ended this bitch on a drunk moment, dog. You got a new one? Uh, a, new high, a drunk or high moment? You got something new? I know shit I can talk about on camera, so yeah, no. You said no? No, I ain't gonna. Oh, <laughs> it's no, I had, I had a, uh, let me think of the word. <laughs> I had a hell of a, I'm just going to say a hell of a night off some 1800. Damn. See, 1800 one of them big-ass bottles, too. See, 1800 was that drink that, nigga, I had graduated to because I was drinking Seagram Gin. So I felt like I was getting money when I got the 1800, nigga. That bitch will kill you. That bitch will kill you, nigga. Yeah. It or how you doing some shit you know you shouldn't have been doing in the oh, first nigga, place. Yeah. I, I tell you, nigga, 1800 and 4 Loco will have you butt naked with your mama's cell phone. Yeah, that shit had me. <laughs> I threw up in my own bed and just laid back down. Like that shit happened. Nigga, I'm in that bitch nigga with my mama phone. Nigga. I got yeah, a phone, that shit nigga. Terrible. I'm in that bitch butt ass nigga on my mama couch, nigga. I got my own phone, nigga, but I wake up to her shit like, what the fuck? You, you better be lucky and see some shit you ain't wanna see. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch nigga Hey, hey, what, what that nigga uh, baby boy say mama got life too, nigga. <laughs> she would've fucked your head up. You would have needed another drink. Hey, I would've whooped that nigga ass, bro. Hell yeah. Hey, speaking of nigga, like, have anybody ever dispatched your mama nigga that you looking for that nigga right now? I'm looking for this one nigga right now, cuz. I ain't looking for him. I no, don't any, do nothing now. I know you talking about. Yeah, yeah, any nigga ever disrespected my mom, we, oh, had, no. to, we had to handle that shit I right I still ain't seen this nigga, but when I see this nigga, right. nigga, hell yeah. He's it's, my mama let us listen to that voice. No, it still works. Hold on, I know a nigga named Jerry. What do you look like? <laughs> <laughs> we might be able to help oh, each other out. I, oh, I, told my, I told my girl shit, like, if I ever see Drew, I got, I got, you got, you got, got to square up with him. That's the only thing I Oh, no. Oh, no, nigga. You he saying that shit got crazy. me? I got add to again, nigga. <laughs> he like, was when I see a nigga crazy. got cut. What up, dog? No, nah, niggas don't really disrespect my mama, man. My mom, my mom ain't never been in that type of situation. Yo, is your, is your, all right, I ain't trying to be like nigga disrespectful, of course, nigga. But yo, is your mom in a relationship right now? Yeah, my mom married. Okay, so you cool with her husband? Yeah. That that's important though, right? Hell yeah! But when we, I mean. <laughs> Well, the time he came into the picture, I was a teenager, so we okay. definitely had our run-ins, but it wasn't because my, he disrespected was my he, mom. Was, was he trying to come at you like as a stepdad, and you're like, hold on, because I got that. The 100 shit is, I just was on some bitch-ass nigga shit. Yeah. As a kid, you feel yeah. me? Because the nigga was trying to really, trying to teach me respect and yeah, discipline. For sure. But nigga, you ain't my dad, so I ain't trying to hear it. Exactly. You go, you go, you nigga go. trying to teach me simple shit. Yes, ma'am. No, no, ma'am. Yes, yeah. sir. No. Shit that I use anyway, yeah. but you trying to make me use it in the house with my mama. <laughs> I call my mama, mama, nigga. I'm not about saying, yes, ma'am. Can I go in the fidget? Nigga, I live here. <laughs> so I, was, I just wasn't trying to accept the shit then. For sure. But to this day, that's what's going on. That's my guy. He cool, yeah. Yeah, he cool it, as hell. It, it's always good when your mom can somebody that's cool, dog. Like, he cool right, as hell. This, this last question I'm going to ask, dog. Like, Bro, you got more to keep them bitches going. Now, you say you you and your kid's mom, y'all not together. Mm-hmm. When your, when your kid's mom... Get with a dude. If they not with a dude, they get serious with a dude. Do it got to be a conversation you got to have with that nigga before? Because cause your kids in that household? I used to think that, but as I get older, bro, that shit is unrealistic. Yeah. What if I'm going to go on y'all first date? <laughs> like, when, when, when is the... Because I, I guess this shit happened to me the opposite way. Yeah. I had kids with a woman. I started dating another woman. Yeah. And they met my kids before I ever introduced them to, to each other. Okay. So, until that happened, yeah. I didn't understand, like... Cause then they got me thinking. So when was a good time for me to bring her over here so y'all could talk? Like when yeah. was this gonna happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like now I understand it, bro. That shit is audio control. I got this thing now that I say like it is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. Yeah. I control what I can. I don't give a fuck about what I can't. You yeah. feel me? I can't care about what the yeah. fuck she got going on, even yeah. if it's around my kids. Now if my kids come back and tell me, hey, this nigga smack me in the back of my head in the oh, morning, yeah, it's a problem. then we got a problem. Yeah, for but sure. until then, bro, I don't give a fuck. I meet dog or not. Yeah. See me, my shit with my uh, my oldest son, and mom, dog. Like I, I gotta meet the dude. Like, I ain't saying that you got, I gotta meet him before you get with him. But at some point, I gotta meet this nigga. But the truth is, see you. This is my thing. I used to overanalyze shit like that. Yeah. So then, like by the time I meet him, I really wanna know. What, so how long y'all niggas been talking before <laughs> I met this nigga? And there's no way for you to actually know. So you gonna dry yourself, dog. By the time you meet, by the time you meet, dog. And she didn't find out that she was serious enough yeah. that she wants you to meet him. 
Yeah. That nigga already probably been living there and eating your kids' snacks. <laughs> So why even stress yourself out about that shit? And like you got to be one hundred with yourself. Yeah. I done been the other nigga that had to meet yeah. somebody else's dad yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely was with the mama doing all kind of wild shit before I ever met you, bro. <laughs> That's how she got to see. You you feel me? So like before I even be the whole nigga see, that be trying to control though. what like, she got going on in her house, I had to learn and just like hey, the like dude, that shit slide. The dude my uh my son mama's with now, nah, cool, no problems, <clears> nigga, no problems at all. The dude she was with before, problems. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I told the nigga, like, cuz, listen, we just got a son together. Nigga, like, me and her got the same son. So whenever there's some shit going down, it's about our son. This nigga don't understand that shit. So, nigga, we got to about some dumb shit. But I'm like, cuz, listen, I told you from jump, nigga, if the only time me and her talking is about my son. Right. Anything extra, nigga, that's, that's on you. You got some personal feelings about me. Right. So he's like, oh, it's a light skin nigga. You gonna get back with him? My like, cuz. This nigga insecure. I'm happy that she but got you, you. You also gotta see where he coming from too. Like, some niggas don't know how to let go. I would love to say his nigga name, but I'm not gonna do that. No, shit, don't do that. Bro. Don't do that, bro. No, I'm not gonna do that. Shit. That's the one name I don't want you to say. <laughs> I've been drinking the F and the F. Thirty eight. Thirty eight. You feel me? No, but I'm gonna put you in a situation. No, you don't she's need not to with the nigga no more. Had a nigga but on the still, podcast. I ain't gonna say shit, but <laughs> yeah, but it's like dog, like cuz I told you from jump, nigga. I'm happy you with her, bro. Congratulations, but the truth is, though, bro, the, the generation that we come from, you can't never take a nigga word up front. Who the fuck gonna tell you, like, True. who the fuck gonna say, yeah, that's your girl, Yeah. but when I come over to see my son, yeah. I'm knocking her down. Like, <laughs> who gonna say that shit up front? So a nigga that's always gotta be on guard, and he always gonna feel like he might be getting played. It's a chance you might be getting played, and because she still got a baby daddy that's, that's around. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga, and this nigga always runs to a motherfucking, never mind. Man, but yeah, that shit, real, like, at our age, bro, right. everybody got a baby daddy. And that shit yeah. hard to really, what you said, to really get that in my head. I just be like, if in my head at this point, I just be like, if it's not happening, I'm surprised. The whole thing of it is, bro, you can't have no expectations. So anything that you ain't got no expectations for, you can't be disappointed, bro. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You never going to find out unless yeah. you literally walk in on some <laughs> shit. You get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't even worry about it. You got to. If you gonna fuck with this girl and her kids, you gotta fuck with her and her kids and whatever else come along with it. Yeah. Niggas really should be happy that they daddy in the picture enough to where certain shit you ain't gotta do for this kid. Hell yeah. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Cause now that's my pet peeve. Yeah. Cause at a, at some point it's gonna be like, damn, bro, like y'all on the phone with this nigga, but why I gotta buy him shoes and shit? Like, <laughs> if y'all if y'all that cool, like why is this the scenario on this end? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, for sure. Yeah, Hell yeah, damn. Hey, cuz, so yeah, nigga, so so so. Three men. So, so let's do this, man. It could be three of us. We can fuck around and hook Howard Stern basement and shit. We can do it. <laughs> Hell yeah. But shit, man. Where, where you can go listen to the new uh, mixtape and shit? It's on the flow. Where, where you can follow you at, dog. Let them know, dog. Hey, you can, you can get the mixtape uh, on any platform that you can listen to music on. You can follow me on Instagram at that's buddy. D A T S yeah. underscore buddy. Yeah. I don't really mess with the Twitter and shit yet, but I know if this podcast get popping, we definitely going to get the Twitter going. Yeah. So if you do that shit solo, then damn, this nigga fuck up. Nigga drunk. Every kid is ass. Hey, look, 50. That, that curve you put in this bitch. <laughs> Y'all unk fucked up. That nigga fucking this nigga up. This nigga sweat. <laughs> drop his That plus the edible. Dog, nigga fucked up. So if you, <laughs> if you got to do some shit dolo, nigga, then what? Now, I remember you said the one shit was buddy or something. Buddy what? Buddy system. Yeah. Which... Even even if we all did the show you together, I'm probably yourself. gonna still do my oh, shit yeah. by myself because it's it's still gonna be shit to talk about and it's still gonna sure. be you know what I'm saying you can let loose how you want to on your show and it could be as consistent as you make it. Hell yeah! It's just a matter of me, like I said, for me it gotta make sense and I don't want to do it half ass. Yeah. So like sure. I want it to where it got visually nice or you yeah. know what I'm saying I'm yeah. willing to pay for it what I gotta pay for it. For sure. Let me ask you this though. This is the last question we could get off the bitch. What's the number one answer? The number one answer or answer I'm, I'm i'm dumb as fuck i'm drunk what's the what's the question the one question you had to ask each 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 motherfucking guest on every episode like one that you can't not not ask mm. i know it's throwing that shit like nigga right that's deep yeah because with me nigga like i always want to know your background like shit like right. that like what's one shit that you i don't give a fuck who on this show i gotta ask this question my shit would probably be like and this like i said i'm big on like trying to Filling nigga out. Yeah. Really, people only gonna tell you what they want you to know. Yeah. But you can always figure shit out. Like, all right, bro, what was the first CD you ever bought? Yeah, yeah, with your own money. Yeah, with your own Hell money. Yeah, me, the first money. 
Yeah. See what I'm saying? I brought, <laughs> I, hey, I brought fucking single, nigga. Pigeons, nigga. No scrubs. The answer no scrubs, nigga. So you want them lovey dovey ass <laughs> niggas. That's, see what I'm saying? <laughs> but the first CD I bought, nigga, like, for real, for real, was 400 with my own money. I tell you a lot about nigga. I, and I say that my first. I had my first money stupid young, so we wasn't even on CDs yet. Yeah. The first shit I ever bought was My Way by Usher. Nigga, I'm lying. I swear to God, my mama grave, nigga. That was the first CD I... Cassette I bought, nigga. Yeah. It wasn't no CD. Straight out the liquor store. It was store. a fucking cassette, yeah, nigga. My straight, way, nigga. Straight out the liquor store. Now, I, was shit, that bitch, I was brushing my hair like this shit. It's 7 o'clock on the dot, nigga. Hell yeah, 7 o'clock on the dot, nigga. I mean, I wish it was I wanted waves and everything, nigga. The streets, I wanted the waves nigga. and the Wrangler because yeah, I watched that video. My way and shit, dog, like... Like damn, because on that on that same cassette it was my way, and what's the joint? Seven o'clock Clock on, on the, the dot. Yeah, All that shit was on the same yeah. little CD. That's the first. Nah, that's the first cassette I bought. Yeah, I bought that cassette. Part CD. With CD my was own money. CD yep. was was wasn't. Now my brother, my stepbrother introduced me to Juvenile Four Hundred, but the first CD I bought my own money was Lil Wayne Lights Out. See, by the time I got into CDs and buying my own, because I really just steal them shits from my uncles. <laughs> so the one that I actually bought myself was Nelly. Yeah. Uh, Country Grammar. Nope, it was after because that that was a bootleg that one, I is, stole is, from is somebody. Is it hot in here? No, nah, what's the one after that? Sweat the, suit. The one, the, yeah, the two of them. With oh, the, that's a sweat suit. I am suit, number nigga. one shit on there. I think that was that sweat Pimp suit. Pimp juice. We had that motherfucker Tim McGraw in that bitch. Nigga, yeah, like. uh, Air Force Ones, <laughs> all that shit was on there. That Yo, was the first one I actually bought myself. Nigga sleep on, nigga, after nigga, that, every week, my mama would give me money. I go buy CDs. Hell yeah, cause nigga, the nigga, I don't know if he in jail right now, but he used to be like, I come to your crib as long as you spend twenty five dollars or more. Yeah, he be burning so, them shits. Yeah, so me and my mama get she get three, I get three. Nigga, I mean, I got motherfucking uh, Easy E, nigga, motherfucking Three Six Mafia, nigga, little Wayne. Yeah, see, like, no, nah, my my sister had a boyfriend. I got an <laughs> older sister. And her boyfriend was my best friend's brother. Mm -hmm. So either way it go, I was around this nigga. This nigga so, played a big influence on my music shit. Because he would have these. You remember when you had CDs, you had the big ass CD binder. Yeah. He had a CD binder and he had a, the cover from the CD behind the CD. Duh, so I'd be taking yeah. the CD out and be looking at the cover. Oh, this nigga look cool. This I'm still, yeah, I'm still in this shit. Because you look at the motherfucking credits, nigga. Everything yeah. in that bitch, nigga. For sure. So then he would tell me after he figured out I was still in this shit. Yeah. Like I said, he talked to my sister. And his, literally, his little brother is my best friend to this day. Yeah. So nigga just tell me, Rod, I know you been stealing my CDs. Take five at a time, bro. Yeah. And he'd tell me, these the five you need to listen to right here. The nigga that gave me T-Pain, I'm sprung and shit <laughs> out of there. I done had the Akon CD from this nigga. And them the ones I remember. John Legend, them shits changed the way I looked at music. Yeah. So he would pick all the ones out that was new and I yeah. could listen to. So, hey, shout out to my nigga Tony, man. Hey, I'm drunk as hell. I'm thinking about nigga, uh, Ray J, nigga, was the shit. That one wish? Me and my son, mom, nigga. <laughs> Melody, nigga. That song called Melody. Melody. <laughs> that Say that I, I love you. <laughs> Say, that's your shit. That was before Ray J was on that shit. Duh, Ray J and motherfucking Mark Houston, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. those are songs that made me think about my first relationship, dog. That my very first time shit? Yeah, I ain't gonna talk about it no more, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting married next week. Yeah, let that shit go. Hell yeah. But shit, man, we got my nigga Buddy in this bitch, dog. We definitely gonna do a part three. Got to. So Hopefully we get this show going. So so I'm dead ass serious. I'm, I'm about to test it right after this shit, dog. But Let's shit, do like, you already know, nigga. Shit is uh episode thirty three, uh thirty four be after the motherfucking marriage because she already said like I know you ain't doing no podcast once you get married that same weekend. So I'm, I look there like I guess not. <laughs> I want to, but I'm not though. Cause yeah. this nigga gonna tell me not to do it anyway and shit. So uh, until next time, I'll be married, nigga. But I'm still gonna be the same nigga. If y'all know what that means. Ha 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 ha